Welcome to the Kicking Up Dust Media podcast, guys. Today I've got a very special guest, someone who I've been meaning to get on for a long time. <laughs> you don't want to call him on the podcast. <laughs> You're getting mad. <laughs> <laughs> no, big up, man. Big up. Hey, you know what? Before before I start anything, you know I'm looking at this. this do you know what I'm looking at it? Because of no, nah, you know what happened. Go on. Let me tell you what happened. So I was off the scene for five months, innit? So mm. man, I was a bit rusty. I had a podcast, two podcasts on the same day with the, the Mexican brother mm. and and a brother from Newham. Yeah. And I forgot to hit the record button, you know. You forgot to press record? Two podcasts, five hours, I forgot to hit the record button. So there was no audio? There's no audio from these mics. Yeah. Only what the camera Just the live, up. yeah, yeah. So it's like either I abandoned the, but you know, like the vibe's not going to be the same if I re-record it because mm. we were catching jokes yeah, or whatever. Yeah. So I was like either I re-record it and it's not going to be the same or I try to... F you know, improve. do the audio for not, and it it was okay. It got by because the, the one you know, ghost ghost from Newham, ghost. Yeah, the the the, the big yeah, top yeah, one. Him, yeah, that him. was ages ago. Why for that part? Yeah. No, 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 no. no I'm saying no, no, why no, no, for no, me no. calling this. Is, now this, this is another ghost. Oh, not the life for one. No, 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 no. This is uh, this brother's from uh, Newham. Okay, I okay. think he's from Cannon Town. Oh. I was upset, but Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. it worked out all right. You know, yeah. um, like, the one with the Newham brother. So like, obviously, got to try to. That's not out yet. So got to try to like play with the. The audio a little bit Yeah now that happened with us With the China episode But it going to happen at, at It happened with, with us With the China, China episode But yeah um, Ice Cream's mic went on No way The whole way through Like her mic went on So we just had to use the um, The audio from the um, camera That's peak But anyway Let's get to it um, Assalamu alaikum Wa alaikum salam no, first, first, thing, first thing of course Definitely yeah. Um you know, like obviously, you know, you've told your story a few times, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. But we're just gonna like quickly brush over it. You know, it was there mm. just for the viewers, the new people, and yeah, because yeah. most of it's out there and stuff like that mm. on other platforms. But we're gonna go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's gonna be a bad boy podcast. Inshallah, we're gonna get into it. Um, just give me like a, a bit of your background, where you grew up and stuff like that. Um, well, I was born in Dominica, which is an island in the Caribbean. A lot of people get it mixed up for Dominica Republic. Um, when I say Dominica, they just um, automatically think it's Dominican Republic, but no, it's an island called Dominica in between Martinique and Guadeloupe. Um, it's got about 75,000 or 70,000 population, small island. I was born there, my mum was born there, my dad was born there. Um, I came to England when I was six, nearly seven. Um, my mum and dad broke up, came here with my mum. And my siblings, I've got two brothers, two sisters. Um, so, yeah, we came here. We was first in Leighton, East London. Um, then we moved to Walthamstow, East London. And, yeah, that was basically, yeah, my upbringing. Did you live with your mum or your dad? My mum. That's what I'm My, my dad stayed. Um, oh, he, oh, he never came at any No, 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 that's what I said. They broke up. My mom but what I mean? Did he come to the UK later no, on? There's no need. <laughs> there's no need. No, my mum and my dad broke up. There's no need for him to come to England. He okay. lives in Dominica. He's fine where he is. Do you okay. get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's fine where he and is. And did you have a, a relationship with him as you got older? I did for a sec, for a couple of years maybe. Then like it kind of panned out. You know, that like I get it now as I'm older because I'm like my dad's son, isn't it? Mm -hmm. After a while, it probably just got long for him. But the last dealings I remember having with him was when I first went to prison. That was when I was 16. And he tried, he ripped me a letter and he was kind of like bad mouthing my mum. Because it's like, in Dominica, I was like smart in it. Like I was very um, clever. Like when I was um, like free, when I started school, like in Dominica, they put you in a class like how smart you are in it. Mm -hmm. So it's like I was in a class like three years older than me. So I was like, so basically before I came to England, when I was six, I was in class with nine year olds. So... That's how smart I was. But when I come to England, obviously they put you with how old you are, innit? Yeah. So it kind of that. But anyway, cut a long story short, what I'm trying to say is my dad probably thought I'd end up being a doctor or a lawyer or something of that sort from what he remembered of me, innit? To now hearing that I'm now in Fulham at 16 for robbery. He kind of, um, I remember he was saying a couple of things, but so I written back and I was very disrespectful and like, like you know, like telling him that like, fuck off and bare madness, yeah? So I never heard from him again, but which I understand as a big man. Mm -hmm. If my son spoke to me like that, regardless of the situation, he wouldn't hear from me again. Mm -hmm. And what about now? Did you chat to him now? He's dead. Passed away. Yeah, I didn't get to chat to him. 
May Allah make it easy, man. The, the church. And so obviously when you came over here, growing up, you were warm still, right? Huh? You were in East, right? Yeah, I was in Leighton to begin oh, with. Oh, in Leighton? To begin with, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like obviously going primary school, then from their secondary school. Like yeah. When did your behaviour start changing? Because um, like you said, you were good in uh, the uh, back home. Yeah, I was good back home, um, but mischievous by nature. So I was even mischievous in Dominica by nature. Like I would do things that I'm not allowed to do in it type of thing. Just mm -hmm. that was just my nature. Like I remember breaking my breaking my arm when I was young. Like because I weren't at, like I was five and I snuck out the house. My mum was um, at work. Snuck out the house. Went up the road to try and not for one girl. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. that there was no wise for me even as a youth. I was checked. I went to check one girl. I broke my arm going down the stairs. But yeah. Uh, my behaviour probably probably started changing maybe secondary school because um, like yeah primary school I was kind of alright, but I suppose when you're over here now more freedom your dad's not here mm. so you could get away with much more probably than what you could do back there. Yeah, that's one that's one thing, but another thing was probably the um, the people I ended up I don't know looking up to or hanging around. Um, yeah, it was probably that. And what, what was your like, obviously the road you went down, what was your first kind of like interaction with crime and the road and stuff like that? My first interaction with crime was probably from primary school. You get what I'm saying? If we're talking car, man stealing from Probably's the shop. Yeah, 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 man stealing from the shop. You the get thing. A man taught me that. You get me my bridging. Well, you don't, well, yeah, but it's mad because, yeah, my first kind of bridging um, over here kind of showed me about that. But then we did end up falling out like years down the line. But yeah, man showed me about shoplifting and them thing well, from you, primary you school. You ever do the sleeve thing? Huh? The sleeve thing? The sleeve thing, that's the old school that's thing. Old but school thing yeah, yeah, but our thing was more rag still. Oh, you just rag old, you just went yeah. in there. What, <laughs> yeah. 10 years old? Maybe earlier. You know what I'm saying? Sprays of madman. Maybe earlier. Now, because the shop was at the top of my road, didn't it? So we could just boom. You know what? So cut. we sometimes you run in there, grab it and just out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Out, yeah, out, out, out. I'm still. And would you, what was your mum doing in that time, like working? And working, yeah, my mum was a teacher. Mm -hmm. So I suppose when you've gone secondary school, like, it's kind of escalated a little bit now, isn't it? Um, where did you go to secondary school? Where? Where? In Wolfhamstone. Okay. Bit Asian, man. Bit Asian, man, like in Wolfhamstone. I grew up with the Asians still. Yeah, I mean. R.I.P. Bobby Khan, Free Wackers, you get what I'm saying? My people, them. Mm. And how, yeah. was, how, how was that going to secondary school? And I suppose that's when now, like, you interact with older people people and stuff like that school and whatever yeah, yeah, yeah um school school was fun school was probably my best memories because i did like school um because i was i was like social in it like i i was a social so sociable person not like they when they say anti-social like they would have probably put me in that bracket yeah but I don't get it because I was very social. It's like when they call you anti-social, like anti-social behavior is nuts. Because but to I me, man was very social. I think what that I think what they mean by that is like mm. we're social in our way, isn't it? Like, mm -mm -mm. but kind of a mad way. Mad. You know what I mean? So to yeah. them, it's like God, we're hanging out on the block or whatever. What mm. you know what I mean? So they look at that as like anti-social. I'm assuming that's what they mean by mm. anti-social, right? That's them. I don't know what they mean by that. Yeah. But all the anti-social people I know. Like, oh, extremely social. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? It was outside. That's how social we was. What was your first, like, brush with the law? Um, I got nicked for a free. At a fight. Um, I would have been in school. So I would have probably been 14, 15. So it was a fight outside school? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got nicked in um, Wolf so Central. It's an older guy, for older, older you as well. Okay, what, well, some school like school issue or something? I think it was, a, I can't remember properly, but I think it might be someone from my school, his older brother or something. So obviously as you got older, like come out of school, did you get kicked out or did you get your GCSEs? GCS I got GCS? kicked out and I got my GCSEs. Oh, so you went back for the GCSEs? Yeah, I See? got kicked out with like, I think six months left of school. Okay. So it was too late to um, for another school to take me on. So they just sent me the um, stuff to my house. And how did you do? Yeah, I done good. I done well. Seriously? Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I got... 10 GCSEs. I would have thought you just dashed the paper and said that. No, no, I got 10 G I got A star in English, bro. Oh. Which I want to keep saying because that's my one claim that's, to... That's, the that's my one like, claim to... You get what I'm saying? I got, a a, yeah, I got A star in um, English language. Um, I got five Cs and some other stuff. 
You get me? Bro, like, see, you never judge a book by its cover, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man would, but that's the first time I've ever heard you say that, you know? What you yeah, see? it's out it's out there still. People yeah. know that still. They don't believe me. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. But you still got the paper? Probably. You see? But it's, it's, it's a fact. People know me for, I'm not, people know me from school in it. I wasn't someone that people didn't know. You see what it is? Like, people know I was smart. Like Enough they people were, don't realise. A lot of road men are actually quite clever. Flo Dan from Robe Deep went to my school. Ozzy B, Lethal B, um, Coel, Lady Fury, Flair East, but she's younger than, man. But ev everyone from my school, Simone Locker as well, another singer. But everyone from my school, they knew I was a smart you. I wasn't a dumb you. So what did you do after that then? I went prison, felt him. Straight after? I was the squad, I went so, to prison. So what was, was that, like, what, was, what was that first, what did you go for? Robbery. Street robbery? Yeah, robbery. Yeah, yeah. Phone? Nah, we, uh, um, phone robberies hadn't really come in yet. Okay. It's literally like night. Yeah, because you're talking like, what, 96, isn't it? 97, 98. Yeah, yeah, because phone robbery started 98, 99. They got common with pay as you go, innit? Because mm. pay as you go came in strong, like 98, 99. You know what I think it was? I don't, that was just never man's thing. Even even if it was, I, I, I just never thought like, yeah, yeah phones. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't man's thing. So how long did you get? Two years. Two years? Yeah. You done it all at Feltham? No, no, no. I, I went, felt, um, then got shipped out to Hollisey Bay. Then from Hollisey Bay, got shipped out to Only. How, how did it, so you, obviously you didn't get reminded, no? Or did you get reminded? Um, yeah, I got. I was on remand for three weeks, but well, it was it was JR judges remand because I would obviously when you got guilty in it. And how did it feel my first time in prison? Um, like you didn't care. I didn't. I was prepared for it in it because I came. I went prison from road, didn't it? Yeah. So I was prepared for it. I knew I was going to jail. Um, most of the people I looked up to at that time, they go to jail. So I was in a. Unfortunately, I was kind of excited. That's you know what, and I was just about to say that you know, people don't realize that's like a badge of honor. Yeah, it? yeah, yeah. It's, it's, so, it's sad. It's sad still. So it's like when I first went prison, like it was, there was I didn't care at all. It's sad. So, I mean, it was like adventure. Mm. So I remember I landed in jail and I phoned my bridging up. I said, "Your man's in jail, you know." It's just like like he's normal. Yeah. And he's like, "What?" I said, "Yo, go to my mum and." Mm. You know, and it was like kind of like I don't want to say man was happy to be there, but he was like, like a little bit excited. Yeah, it's it was there. <laughs> so when I hear some stuff. when I hear some brothers on podcasts, they be like, "Oh, they were like, they were uh, like they were really like wounded." And like, Bobby oh. said he was crying. Like, like, bro, I don't know, Bobby man. Bobby cried on his first. Day I, I just felt like stuff. when you go, maybe he was just a bit older, in it. Maybe he was yeah, older. true. I, I know I felt, when he's older, like, I felt like you know when you like when you're outside, it's kind of like it's kind of like I don't know, like a like a badge on in it, like. I'm going to jail. You know something, yeah? Well, Allah here, Dean, as well, yeah? And it's a fact that Allah knows. But I've not, I've never shed one tear in prison. Seriously. You know that? Not one. But not you... one tear. Like, it was only recent, well, a few years ago that I ever knew I could cry. Seriously. Seriously. Well, Allah here, Dean. You get me? I ain't never said one tear. That's how much anger I had in, in, inside of me yeah. for life. Now, you know what? That's like a. That's a trauma of the road, isn't it? Yeah, that's because you look at it like it's a weakness, isn't it? Yeah, yeah I, I didn't even. Well, it's a weakness, but bear in mind, I'm in single cell, bro. Mm. There's no cameras here. I could cry yeah. if I want. Like, do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, as a big man, I'll, I'll um, I say like, there's nothing wrong with crying. Nah, as definitely. a big man, bro, you know, Feltham was a madhouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah jungle. Was, like, obviously, we went from east. There's enough south. You man from all over, isn't it? How yeah. was it? How was that experience in Feltham? Feltham. Felton was was nuts to be because bear in mind I'm from Walthamstow, yeah. So when I first went in um, jail, they looked at that as like Walthamstow like, weren't a name. It weren't rated. Yeah, yeah Walthamstow weren't a name. Yeah, but bear the man them that I knew from Leighton, uh, you get me. I knew enough of the tugs them from over there as well. Shout out action, a couple of the man them over there. But yeah, their man was going jail, so. At first, I was kind of lying. I was saying I'm from Leighton. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I wasn't going to lie. I was saying I was, I was repping Leighton at first. You get me? Because Corridor, enough of the, enough of the man in what I knew from Leighton was in, was in there. You get what I'm saying? So man, like we used to kind of like have little fights with Satyuts and all that. Because remember Satyuts, they like, back then, they were like all over the gym. All over the joint. You get what I'm saying? So yeah.
There was bare South man in jail. Yeah, yeah, but I, I, bare of them I turned into my good, like a lot of good friends I made in jail as well. That's how it happened. Yeah, man. from all over the place. Felton was really one of them places where you just got like punch man up straight away. Everywhere is one of them yeah, places. Yeah, that's true. You're right, you get what yeah. I'm saying? Prisons is, yeah, you can't really be on too much chatting. The first time I went in jail, I was talking in the podcast, it was mm. just for like a month or two, wasn't it? And I thought, you know what, it's going to be like a quick in and out. Mm. Bro, for my to like, do a madness. Yeah. You know, like, I'm like, yo, this place, you know? But it's just one of them places with young people, isn't it? You know, alhamdulillah, because it's even, like, even now for us to be able to sit and talk like this is a blessing because obviously, like, you know, um, you know my background, I know your background, innit? And I was even chatting to a man last night, but he's just like, no, nah, you get what I'm saying? So your name was ringing, like our man's name was ringing. So, <laughs> alhamdulillah, we can sit Thank down you. and talk and, do you know what I mean? Try and give a, a different... Um, I came a long way, bro. A long way. Alhamdulillah, man's here, bro. Do you understand? And I think it's like, you know, you need your flowers as well. Obviously, we're giving your flowers already, but you need your flowers as a man um, that's willing to put yourself so in front of the camera and show, look, I've grown up a certain way, but this is me now. And I think it's a good thing for um, kids to see that. 100%. Do you know what I mean? And different, different, because um, obviously you're Asian, isn't it? So, you know, on that point, we, you know, no doubt about it, but I'm sure you might agree. Mm. Especially in them days, mm. like it's on the, from the road level. Yeah. Like London Black Road Bros didn't rate Asian man. They did it, yeah, but it's, why it was different for me, like I said, I grew up in Wolfhamstow. Mm. Like Wolfhamstow, the home of the wickedest Pakistanis. Oh, see, I nearly said it again. But the wickedest hey. Pakistanis that I know. Hey, this is going to be you, a mad podcast. No, nah, but you get what I'm saying? I nearly said it again. But that's just how I talk. Nah, but but speak, I'm saying it's the but home. Nah, little, can I just say something? One, one. It's the home. Like, I, So I've never seen that. Yeah. Like, like my my Pakistanis were on what man's on. On, yeah, okay. I see man, like, I've yeah, seen course, gruesome yeah, yeah. things. Yeah, of course. Done by my Asian friends. Yeah. From, from, from school. From when, 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 it, no, it wasn't really gunplay. It was bare knife play. Right. That man, it was chopping, chopping man out their clothes. You know, quickly, just going back. Man, you know, used the P word on the last podcast. Yeah, I went mad. Yeah, yeah, but you know what? Mad at let's talk about that quick, yeah? Like I told you, this is going to be a mad podcast. Mm -mm -mm. You're going mad, like you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think people have just become just moist now? I think it's not even moist, yeah? And um, to me, I think in this day and age, everyone's a little bit sensitive, sensitive uh, yeah. oversensitive. But at the same time, it's, yeah, what we have to understand as well. And what I was made to understand is you can't, you can't tell someone how to feel about, do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, if I say Paki, I'm going to say it rags, yeah? And it, 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 it upsets someone. I can't tell them not to be upset. They're upset by it. Do you get what I'm trying to say? It's like, it's like when people say nigger, or if you say my nigger, I'm not going to feel, oh, but someone might feel a way. Oh, yeah. I can't tell them, why are you feeling that way? So, but All I've got to do is try and look within myself and look like today. I went to say it. You try and to change yeah. and then stop. Because you might hurt someone's feelings. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And I get that. Like, it's not. But you know what it is? Uh, hmm. Spray, yeah? We grew up a certain way, innit? Mm. So, like, I I use the N-word. Mm. But I realise I can't mm. I can't be 100% myself on YouTube because bare filters and, and mm. there. Mm. So, me and my brethren, we talk a certain way. Half my brethren are black, half them are Asian. Yeah. So that's what I mean. Yeah. We chat a certain way and whatever. So, like I said, when you said it in that mm. podcast, mm. I didn't even like, kind of hear it. Yeah, yeah. Because it's normal, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we use the N-word and the P-word. Yeah. But I notice now people have become so sensitive. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, yo, you've got to really kind of be political in the way you kind of yeah, say things. I just, I remember I'm someone that even advocates for, because, okay, you have a, let me give you a scenario, like say I'm an artist, write my lyrics, whatever, in one of my verses might say, nigga, this, that, this, that. Mm. So if I've got white fans and they're singing along to my song and then they end up singing nigga, which is what I've put in my song, mm. how can I be upset that they're singing nigga? This is, and these are things what literally people go mad for? Oh, why they say nigger? But it's, it's in the song. So you know, you know, my 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 view on this is mm. nobody should say the N and P words, mm. including us. Mm. That's my actual position. Yeah, but I can't help the way I grew up. Uh. You start. We grew up the way we grew up. Uh. We, obviously, I realize that now. I don't feel anyone to say say that because like my kids are half black, half Asian. Mm. There, I don't want them. I don't want ever hear them saying any of them too. You're sorry, 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 sorry. That was the ADHD. No, but that was the that, that's a new one though. No, but that is a new one. This guy, but no, that called? is a new one. Yeah, so, what, what does that mean? 
Now, it's, it's, you know what? Oh my just, days! In between, in it. This guy. It's in between, in it. No filter. Like. Now, what I'm saying is in between. Think but about yeah, it. So, but like, but what I'm saying is that I don't think any. I don't, I don't think they're they're good positive words, isn't it? No, they're not. They're but, not. But like they don't said, stem from positivity. Our our little kind of backdrop is what we fall back on is the way we grew up. And yeah. there, we never called. We listen to Nas, Pack, yeah, yeah, yeah. Biggie. It's just normal, isn't it? You know mm. what I mean? So, yeah. But anyway, moving on. Just to get back to the quick, just round off your little thing. So obviously you felt on boom. How yeah. was that experience like? Um, oh, I, I know. I already know that you were fighting in there. I know spray. I was fighting. Standard. I was fighting in um in there. But to be fair, I didn't have too many fights that first that first sentence. I had a few fights, but people kind of liked me because obviously why for that? But I'm a joker in it. So yeah, yeah. like it's. I'm, I'm someone that is, it's all right if you're doing bird with me, why for that? But I'll make man laugh, laugh and we have a, we have, we have joke and I'll punch screws in their face as well. And you know, everyone loves that. So one of the things of when you're in jail is like a kind of like a college, you meet other brayers, yeah, like university. Yeah, yeah. So when you came out off that sentence, mm. I'm, I'm sure you kind of elevated in criminal activity. Yeah. Well, I actually got released on my 18th birthday on the actual day. So that was, I'll never forget that. And um, yeah, and you, as you know, when you come out, it's like a whole different thing. And everyone's like, oh, we had done a little bird as well. For my age, no one won't get it, won't, no one won't go in jail for that long. Them times. So it was like, yeah, like I had a little chair. So I, had, I was even bigger than this. Look, I need to get back to the gym and all that. But yeah, you know, I had the older girl, them on man. And it's just, you get what I'm saying? So, so good. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? And then, Obviously locked in with my cuz and my cuz got bring in early before me because his dad is Jamaican so he had the liquor yard so he got bring in so he kind of showed me about food and that because before mum would be shutting weed or whatever but he showed me the, the food thing innit? so he brought that down to me so from that me and my Cody just start selling food innit? Okay, well, yeah, selling budge? crack and that. Yeah. Okay, well, crack and budge basically. Can't say budge, can't have got nick for budge, but okay, oh, yeah, now you know, I got, yeah, I got nick for crack, so, <laughs> so I was selling crack. crack okay, yeah. oh, so how long after did you get caught when you came out? Well, to well, when I came out, I ended up going back on remand for seven months for a robbery. I bust that case, and then when I was out again, I came out, and then I was out for about six months before I got nicked. Were you lot in country or? Oh, when I was shutting, yeah, I was shutting on the ends, on my ends, on, on, oh, that's why you got to start then. That's, That's where it starts, good. isn't it? Oh, exactly. oh, just to ask you, I don't know myself. The hottest line on my ends, furthermore. Seriously? Yeah, 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 100%. One thing I don't know even myself, where did that link up happen with you and Northstar? Um, with me and Northstar, it, it stemmed from prison. Oh, it's from jail, yeah? Yeah, because on that first sentence, um, like I said, I went from Feltham to Hollisey Bay to Only. Only is where I met C1, who is like... Um, He's the founder, right? Yeah. Star, yeah, well, Buckhead, him and Buckhead, R.I.P. So um, that's where I met C, and we formed a good, great friendship in um only, because you know I was I was on um basic, always locked in my cell, like they don't, they always like stitching me up. But C, um, I swear he was servery, he was servery, but he used to just bring me beer, food, and them thing there. Why for that? But yeah. You know what I mean? Me and him had a good, good um, friendship. Him, me, him, action, chopper. Enough man that I know from that sentence, um, K-Wing, um, Neville the Devil, free up Neville, I heard you're doing a big bird, my G. And that's from the first sentence, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so you linked them on that first Feltham sentence? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I knew yeah. um, Taylor and couple man beforehand. Um, but yeah, that's when I linked C and we just, um, we stayed in contact. Because obviously Tottenham is right next to Wolfham store. Mm. So, you know, he come check me a couple of times um, when I landed road. Um, and I remember like, and them times he, he, he was elevating himself. Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? As far as in the streets, do you get what I'm saying? So I used to hear him like, I said, right, go on, get me car. I could hear what's going on. So yeah, we just kept that link. Obviously I went to jail um, back and forth, back and forth. Then when I learned to rap or when I realised I could rap, when did you realize that's when that? we that's when we linked back up? That was the um, the sentence two thousand and one to two thousand and two around there. What you think? So you start putting words together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was down block and then I was just bored. But before I used to like do poetry in it. 
yeah, which is a bit mad, but it's to do like, it's just be writing. Like, so I was always like kind of creative, mm. you know. Let me ask you a question here. Yeah? So the, the first time I became aware of UK rap, mm. um, Brez were trying to rap like they were Americans. Yeah. Did you do that? No. You had your own thing. Yeah. Did I yeah. tell you the first time I, I heard, heard your music? Mm. I was in jail. Um, there's a youth from Tottenham in there. Yeah. And he was playing it. And I was like, who's that? He was like, Young Spray. Mm. This is like, you were young, young, yeah. you know, and whatever. But I remember that was like, you had your own London flow. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. It was like, you could tell this was a London thing. But I used to hear like, because at them times it wasn't like mainstream, was it? Mm. It's mixtapes and, and cassettes and stuff like that. Yeah. I used to hear Brayers, they used to try to sound American. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, bro, this just sounds mad. Yeah. And I never ever took to it. Yeah. You yeah. What I mean? So at that time, I think, in the early 2000s The only people you had Was like Dizzy, Wiley And stuff like that mm. But my thing was Gangster rap yeah, yeah. Man didn't really listen to Like you know yeah, yeah. The other stuff the you know? I, didn't, I, I wasn't even on I, I, I don't like Garage mm. Never liked it mm. not stand. I would go to the Raves of the man them yeah. But I didn't like it though yeah. No I was packed Big stuff like that So yeah So that was like You know what To be honest You gotta be fair You're like one of the Originators isn't it, Of the UK rap Um UK gangster rap. Yeah, you gangst yeah, gangster rap, yeah. Hundred yeah, percent yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Do you feel like do you get recognition for that? Um yeah. I get recognition from the people that I need to from get recognition world. from. Yeah, from but they DM me all the time, like, yo, you get me all the tugs there, man. Yo, you got me through this sentence or you got me through that sentence or so I get the recognition, um I don't get the recognition from like the industry or whatever, because obviously they're trying to like um they try and rewrite history and trying to change the facts. But yeah, no, like, who knows knows, innit? You know one thing. Like you know. Yeah, come on, yeah. <laughs> Most men know. No, nah, but you get what I'm saying. So. Our generation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand what I mean? Because yeah. only a few people at that time, innit, that was actually yeah, yeah, yeah. making some noise. Innit? Yeah, but remember, yeah. there was no YouTube. No, I don't think it was a channel. Channel U out them times. Channel U hadn't come out. Yet. And kind of, uh, Channel actually, U did. I can't remember. Cause I think Channel U was like, oh four, oh three, or something 03, like that. Three maybe. I don't know. Yeah, you're right. Actually, um. You know what, I, I want to ask you something still, yeah? You know, like, I grew up listening to gangster rap, mm. Pac and whatever. My first music I ever listened to was Pac, Are You Still Down? You know, the album? Yeah, yeah, Hard. And obviously music is haram and we learned that now, you understand? So obviously that's, a, that's still a weakness for man, but the history is history. That's what man grew up on. Like, with the rappers, like people like Pac and, and Nas, when you listen to them in the interviews, yeah? Mm. They always kind of said, look, Pac, I've heard Pac say, look, I wasn't a drug dealer. You know, he said, I, I rap about what my environment is around me. Mm. And Nas more or less said the same thing. Nas said, look, my brother's the greasy one. Yeah, He's rapping about what's around him or whatever. And I respected that honesty. Mm. Like, I rate that. Like, man's not trying to be like a, you know, a WWE character, a wrestling yeah, character, yeah. just lying. Mm. But I've noticed with the, with the UK thing, not everyone, but with the UK thing now, like he's like a you know like a like Takashi character. Mm. So like I've never been a gangster, but I'm gonna behave like a gangster on the mic, which I understand because you gotta make money. Mm. But then I'm gonna act like a gangster, out off the mic and make try and make people believe I was a gangster on road and whatever. Mm. I just find that a bit kind of weird, you know. That? Yeah, it's um, it's changed. It's I think with the youths, it's a bit maybe more. They're more doing what they're saying in it than. You're with not. our generation But what's happened It's kind of switched Like it switched around Like I said in it Like We've just gone through my story Went prison or whatever as a, At a young age Started doing crime At a young age Bad At a young age Yeah um, Started thinking Thought I could rap at 21 So My whole thing Is it, I'd, I'd already been through stuff Before I thought I could rap But what it is now I, I see that people they want to rap, so then they're going and doing badness for them to be able to rap about it. <laughs> where you're right, you're right. I'd already done the badness that mm. I had to rap about. Yeah, it was, it was already there. And you, do you get what I'm trying to say? Mm. I could just rap about what I'm doing. But now, cause it's cause it's such cause we put so much highlight on you have to be real as well, and you must be real. I think that's what's that's what's the problem with the youths now because it's like they feel like they have to actually be out here performing and doing madness to be able to uh, make it in the music game which is a it's a double-edged sword because 
like we sit here and we say, oh yeah, but they're not real and this one ain't real and that one ain't real, which is true because we know where it is, they're not in it. But the double-edged sword of that is because we that is a problem for us, you now have the young youths trying their hardest to not be that and actually be putting in the work, work yeah. to be able to rap. And it's like, you see, like, they, they get signed, but they go jail, they go, you know what I mean? Now, don't get me wrong, I think some of them are, are banging. Yeah, don't yeah, get twisted. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. some of them are, but I mm. think, like, because there's so many rappers now, yeah, and yeah. there, mm. it's just, there's always going to be the ones that are not, yeah, yeah, really been outside. You mm. understand what I mean? But no, no, hundred percent. It's, it's a dangerous game at the moment. It's a dangerous game to try and beat that rapper because you're due to get tested. Mm. You know, people want to at some wanna, point. You yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, you're right. Due to get tested at one point. So obviously now, what? So you've linked. You've come out. You're shot in. You've gone back, Joe. How long did you get for the shot in? Two years. Another two years. Yeah. And where did you go? Felt I said, remember, yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. That one day, I was shitting myself, shitting my pants here, why for that? But, um, because obviously I like, just came out down the room and bust the case. So I was, I thought, oh, they're going to bury me, yeah? But, was it Pebbles, yeah? Yeah, Pebbles. Yeah, two, but, three years, that's normal. But after just doing a two, it? Yeah, remember, so I remember, but I'm making them know, look, there's a Rasta man. He's made me do all of this. Do you get what I'm saying? You know, you can always blame me on the Rasta. There's, all, <laughs> there's a Rasta in every, every end. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, and from you say the jet, like, you get me, the Jed man made me do it. They're cool with that. You you know, man, yeah, man was young enough to get away with that. How many men you reckon run that story? Boy? I don't know about that. I know that dreadlock man. <laughs> that dreadlock man is pissed off right now, Carl. You know, I, oh, yeah, I said, that, oh, the Jed, oh, yeah. give me, I, I give him some proper story. And the judge, like, I swear the judge wanted to cry. I said, Bro, listen. I know brains that went deeper than that. When they were Why like, for that? On remand, they're getting men to like light up their house and all that, mm. <laughs> just to make it, you know, authentic. <laughs> I'm like, man, are deep, you know. Man. So, um, so you're back in jail. Where felt them again? I went chance at that time to be with you. Yeah. Okay, cool. And Bless obviously, it, it was, it was you, you were more like recognized now, innit? Because you've done jail first. Yeah, I'm, I, I met couple. I met Chopper from my first and Chopper was in there. Sharon, that's where I met Sharon. Um, couple man, Twiggy, couple man was in there yeah, still, yeah. yeah. yeah Shroom passed away, right? Huh? The Shroom that passed away. Yeah. Allah. Yeah. Allah forgive us and forgive him. Um, yeah, so anyway, um, so obviously you're back there two years. How was the bird? Same thing again or just like a bit more mature now? <sighs> to be fair, it was worse. I was worse. More, more angry in it. I literally I went on a big tour that time. Rampage, innit? Proper tour, yeah. I you got started up. That's it. Started up. Yeah, I got started At what age? Up. 20. So what year was that you injured? 2001. That one. That, that was when. Time. So I was in jail with your bridging some time. Two thousand one. Yeah, that was when I was in jail with them. We're Reading. Yeah, for the iron thing, the kidnapping, the yardies. In Reading. Yeah, yeah Reading. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because yeah, yeah. he got started up as well. Mm. I think they started him for a couple of months before he turned. Uh, leader. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> yeah, but I spoke to leader. Oh, he's leader called, said he's to me, "Yeah, you're going mad, blood. Cool, yeah, yeah free up leader, man. You're going mad, jail, blood. Yeah, he's in jail, blood. He's back in jail. What recall, yeah." yeah? He's been in jail for a what, bit. What, you chat to him here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't seen him for, but that was the last Blue time. Blue phone, obviously. Oh, yeah. Blue phone, yeah. yeah. I saw, so that was like 22 years ago I saw him. Mm. He was cool though. Yeah, yeah. yeah good he's, people. He's cool. but he, what, he, re he remembered yeah, me, he yeah? remembers you. Yeah, he remembers you. Still. Yeah, man, well, like, so that's our local, isn't it? Yeah. So our local, like that's our local, isn't it? And it was there and whatever. So Say, okay. are you are the money, man. No, I'm a yeah, that, You are the money, man. I'm saying that, you know, man. So you for, you for sending some POs. Also, Lord, they say. So, you know, so yeah, he was he was cool, man. That was like, you know, Joe is like uh, it's weird, but I stuff. It's a bad thing to say. I shouldn't say it. I know what you mean. When you go get out and you spent a long time in one Joe, you're kind of sad to leave. It's mad because you 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 got bridgings there. You're mm -hmm. chilling every day. Do you understand what I mean? It's like it's bro. We're podcasting in the cell. Yeah. Think about it. On on, associ on association, there's four or five men in the cell, and everyone is just you know catching joke whatever they're doing you know smoking burn or whatever else or whatever so it's kind of like podcasting in, in a sense isn't it mm. and whatever so you've come out off that jail off that sentence now mm. back to shotting again straight away no delay <laughs> okay man still but because you have your thinking friends always mad but i'm straight away no delay they even get shift that time but same day if they ask me again I'm saying I didn't. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, car. It's all entertainment. So at this time, what what what, so what was your, your relationship with 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 um North Star was kind of like strong at this time, and you were kind of with them all the time now. No, not yet. Not That's yet. What I'm saying when I came, when I came, I was my relationship with C. 
Oh, it was just him at yes, the time. Yes, yes. Okay. You know saying that's my bridging. Okay, so so we, you've come out. So this is when you've proper start linking them now. No, not yet. That's what I'm saying because I hadn't. When I came out, I didn't come out and just straight away. I'm rapping. Yeah, Did yeah, I mean yeah. I'm in the streets still? I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm in my bits and pieces. I'm. So you, you're like, these you know times like twenty one and stuff like that. I came out when I was twenty. You came out, yeah. So you got started up. So you came out after yeah, that, yeah? yeah. So you're back out. Obviously, you must have got into a few issues on the road, didn't it? Um, yeah. So you got stabbed, I think, a couple of times. Did I get stabbed before that? So I think I got stabbed before that. So oh, you got stabbed before that? What, yeah, I've, what, got, what? I've been stabbed. That, that's how many, what I'm saying. How many occasions outside, have you been stabbed on? Though? I've been outside it. How many, how many occasions have you been stabbed on? Um, a lot. Well, the first time, how old were you? Um, that would be a slice. I can't even. Maybe about 18. 18. What, well, routine? Yeah, when I came out, actually. You came out of jail, uh, yeah, why? Yeah, from prison beef. Why did you get stabbed? From prison oh, beef. Oh, it was, it was a man you moved to him yeah, back? Yeah, I've, I've moved to someone that's older than me. That From your really, old age? Yeah, that really, I, should, I didn't have enough. Authorization? Um, really, you, you get what I'm saying? I, just, mm -hmm. I, I, batted up, like, I batted way above my, my badness level. You get what I'm saying? But uh, I punched that side I'm in jail that I shouldn't have punched that. You caught and you on the road? Yeah, on the road. I've just been a bit loose and... God, what oh. this, I swear it's in one of my allegedly's. So check out the allegedly's. Check out yeah. the allegedly's, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so that was the first time you got touched, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, what, was it serious or just like flesh? Okay. Oh, one. And I think I got... Oh, it was a more of a chop? This is from the back. Is okay. Oh, you've trying to really done no, you? No, 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 not him, but someone that was with someone him. Someone else, man, really trying to done you there, boy. No, I don't know if they were trying to done me or if they just remember we're young in it. I don't know. You don't even know what you're trying yeah, to do. Yeah, I don't know. Like, if you're trying to done me, you just yeah, true. Could push it in there. Yeah, yeah, you're trying to do things. So they wet it. So so when you got like obviously when you got stabbed, do you ever like stop and think to yourself like raw, like this is going a bit mad? I never but the, the reason you don't have time to think that is because you're more thinking about the get back. The ego and stuff, isn't it? Not the ego, the get back. But it is an ego because you No, but I'm saying I'm not even thinking about my ego. Seriously. I'm thinking about it. You're not thinking like, right, what's man? No, thinking that's like, what I'm saying. I'm thinking about the get back. Okay, like, I need okay. to. Do you know what I'm saying? That's more. Do your thing, innit? Yeah, like, raw, man, done that. Like, do you know what I mean? But, yeah, that's what more it is. It's peak still. So, obviously, now, boom, 20 years old, back on road, shot in. What's going on, road? I'm just gunplay, innit? <laughs> yeah, it's just an all heap of gunplay, but. Well, I don't want to really get into that too much. Yeah, yeah not me, saying, but I'm yeah. just saying that's what the yeah, that's what's what going on in the road, isn't it? Like, it's bigger. I'm at telling you time, what was going on in the road. At, at that it? time, obviously, there was a certain beef going on between two ends, yeah? Between bare ends? Yeah, but what's it called? But When that was going on, obviously, you, you were caught up in it, innit? You understand what I mean? I got caught up in it by my own beef beforehand. Well, man's trying to light you up before that? Yeah. My own beef beforehand. Like, from my end, like, you know what I mean? Remember, I'm from... Wolf started moving in chink for the whole, um, you know what I mean? My right hand um, pumps is over chink for the whole. So I managed to go and link him and his brother, him and Strigi. I used to link them a lot. And we ended up having beef with them Beaumont youths, some late, them later youths, youths what, that I grew up with. And what did it start over? Just, I think they tried to rob one of man's workers or something. I can't even remember. It started something dumb, it just, it? it just went, you know what I mean? And it starts, yeah, always starts We just weren't having it, innit? Because... Mm. Um, historically, them man's got the ends on lock, innit? Mm. So, man kind of went against the grain, innit? So anyway, so boom now, you're on road, beef's going on or whatever. So how, so what's gone, for, how did you go from there to like being with North Star? C was already doing the North Star thing with Buckhead and that, in China and that. So then, yeah, when we spoke or whatever, I think I sent him the CD or something, I can't remember, but he, he's like, yeah. From there, he said like, yeah, boom. Like, do I want to do this North Star thing? Do you get what I'm saying? So I was like, yeah, why not? It's my bridge, isn't it? So. And, but obviously you were still on the road as well, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Cool, so you like to Not better than the road, and that was the problem. That was the problem, and mm. the road is always going to drag you back, isn't it? Unfortunately, well, yeah. How many times have you been in jail, like, in total? I think seven. Seven or eight. Seven or eight. Remember, I'm, 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 remember I'm doing bare edit things after that, like, not, um... Robbie. Driving on the band. No, I'm not Robbies. I've, I've grown out of that, innit? Yeah. Like, man said Robbies. Like, that was when I was younger, yeah. So, after, after the, um, that, the drugs one, mm. I went back to jail for not doing community service. 
Okay, yeah, yeah. You get me? So editing. You get me? I think I got a four moon do two or something. That was in um oh four. They tried to breach me for community service. Like I owe this community service. This community is worthless. Filled up with nine to five workers. Most of them belong in a circus. Told the judge I can't hurt this. <laughs> well, Siola went jail on purpose because the feds was on our case for some murders. You, you get what I'm saying? This guy so that was 04. Then 07, I went for driving on a band. Mm. I will drive on a band. That don't concern me. I will make that journey. I will drive on a band just to see my girl G. Boom. So 2007, driving on a band. Then 2011, obviously got reminded. Section 18, well, yeah, six, <laughs> attempted murder dropped to section 18. Um, not guilty. That was the last to be on pen, it? No, not guilty. That was in 011. And then the last time I went pen was 015. Okay, so about eight, nine years now. Yeah, I've done well. But that's what I'm saying. There was little bits and pieces. I've actually done well. Yeah. Since eight that. years gap is a long time. Man. No, but even before that, there's little either stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like no, you've done, done, like, done all right, man. Trust yeah, me. Yeah. For some man sat Altogether, there. Altogether, I've only done about six years, six and a half years. Mm. Uh, and so going on from there, just quickly, just to kind of want to get on to other things still. Mm. So boom, so obviously you're with North Star, mm. the rapping singer, whatever. So in the end, the road dragged you back, basically. No. no. Did at so any point during that, did you say to yourself, I'm going to focus on the music, that's it? Some Yeah, at some point, I think with North Star, we did, because I gave, like, literally... Stop shotting, stop doing everything, can it? Yeah. And I went broke and that, that. So I just had to start robbing people every <laughs> now and again. That's but literally, that I turned into that, innit? Like, because I'm not gonna, just going to be broke. That's that thing, innit? Get rich or die trying, innit? Yeah, yeah, I'm not just going to be. So when you went broke, you start robbing the ro robbing the drug just, dealers. But you know what it is? That's what, see, I, was, I was watching this thing by Nipsey, innit? Before he died. He said that, like, he had to literally stop the road mm. and his focus yeah. and I think he even said he, he sold his rolly and everything just to fund it Yeah, and it worked out for him innit? but that's the only that's the only time it's going to work out do you get what I'm trying to say because this is a time where like it, it was a it was a funny time innit like, mm. but I, I literally I don't think I I don't think I ever actually said to myself I'm just going to 100% be on this mm. like I was definitely gassed Gassed on the roads. Okay. I was more, I was more, con like, I was more like, yeah, I'm with, you know what I mean? Not start, like, I was. You're a serious man, though. I'm with the fucking heaviest, <laughs> wickedest, heaviest crew. <laughs> so I am need to be the top striker <laughs> straight away. Do you get what I'm No, I need to score. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Because I need to make, I need to make sure everyone knows I'm worthy. That was, a, here. <laughs> that, was, that was a serious click. Though, yeah, because I swear, when I first, like, when I first started linking the man and them thing there, people on my ends was like, oh, you know, he's going to get killed. He's going to rev. This is, uh, they were like, no, this they guy. Were, they were in a serious beef them. They were just thinking, these guys are mad. He's linking them. Like, they was in serious beef, but they was on top of their beef. Mm. So it wasn't like I was linking victims. Yeah, true. You understand? But it's still dangerous though. I didn't see the danger. Well, you never saw it, no? I didn't see the danger. Well, at no point you thought, boy, I could get touched here. No. I didn't see the danger. But you know what it is? When you're on the road, you've got to have like that self-belief in it. I didn't see the danger, you get me? Because remember, not like that, but even though it's, it, it might be in, in, in um, the first division and not the Premier League, but you score, it, it's the same way you have to score a goal. It's the same. Do you know what I mean? I was still a, a, the top striker in the, in the, in the first division. So if you're a top striker in the first division, when you go up to the Premier League, you're not going to be shit. True. So I was all right. Do you, you know what you I mean? You could hang basically. Isn't it? I was all right. Why for that? But what, I was all right. What does that mean? <laughs> yeah. Do you know this guy? Yeah. No. Yeah. When you watch it back, you're going to realize. Yeah. Be aware for that. This but, yeah. guy he brings up new words all the time. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <No one's> there. <laughs> They're going to be in the comments. They know. They know. They know. They know. Why? For I'm, I'm the why minister. You know. The first, one, so, the first one I ever heard was you're getting mad. Mm. Yeah, I'm the wire minister, blood. Yeah, but when he's gonna, this is great content. Yeah, this is great content. Right, tell me, man. What does it mean, though? I'll give you great content, bro. What does it mean? It's like pause. This guy makes up words. No, it's like pause. You see, like when the Americans they say pause, you never heard the pause thing. No. Then um, it doesn't even make sense me explaining. Bro, this guy, like seriously, are like you? I was watching a podcast one time. He's going mad about hundred times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going mad. 
So Spain makes up, you know what? <laughs> but I heard, I've seen people use that word now, you know. Yeah, and mind Why games. for that? That's yeah, you, though. Mind it? games. Yeah, come Man's on. Man's making up a slang, you know, his own slang. It's, it's not the the why for that thing. It's not really me that made it still, but I just made it popping. Because that's why I see people, oh, it's pretty never made it. Come from you. I see people, I see, and I, yeah, I've never said I made, I made it popping. You made it popping. It's like shower yeah. demon and show and like these things, like, man just make it popping, innit? Do you know what I mean? Because whoever that you lot keep saying was saying it before, they clearly didn't get it popping, <laughs> did they? Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, so. Like, you know, I, I've noticed people are using it now. Why for that? I'm like, yeah. oh, man, some new slang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And whatever. So, boy, man, spray you a mad life, though, innit? We we have had a mad lives. No. Everyone, everyone, to me, yeah, like, that's what I'm trying to say. It's a mad life to me, innit? But then there's always someone in the worst position, bro. Do you get what I'm trying to say? It's like, all right, cool. My mum and dad's dead. Um, then I interviewed Firebars, big up Firebars. I interviewed him the other day and he said his mum died at nine when he was nine. Yeah. So then it was like, Oof. that I felt it in it because obviously like I love my mum in it. My favourite person. I lost my favourite person. But I lost my favourite person as a big man. Do you get what I'm trying to say? He lost his favourite person. As a kid. So... It's deep, that's deep. Do you get what I'm trying to say? That's a mad life mm. to me. My life will be a mad life to someone else. Mm. But to people in Syria, my life is great. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? People that have to wake up and hear gunshot and bombs and my life is great. Mm. So that's, yeah. A lot knows this. But like, obviously, your kids, though, you protect them from that life, though, not you? You don't want them. Inshallah. It's my youth now, boy. My son goes private school. Yeah, exactly, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know, start with man's yeah. like protective because yeah, yeah. you know what it is. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, of course. Well, it, the smart ones will be like that, but you have some people that it's, they, yeah, they bring up their youth nuts, though. Yeah, I've seen that. As yeah, well. yeah, yeah, but you know what? Like, at least that's a good thing. That's and that's you, and that's because because you've learned of certain things, isn't it? You know, it's because I mean? I've learned of certain things, and it's because I was very lucky. Um, I was very lucky with a. Um, the mother of my child, I think that's very important as well. Like, you know, who you're bringing children, who you choose to bring children into this world with. Because obviously you've got a that just different, innit? My mm. luck, I just got a decent baby mother, innit? That's not really on that. Yeah, she don't, that's not what she rates, innit? Yeah, so, true. yeah. Yeah, but you know what? So sometimes you end up with the wrong baby mother. Yeah, and it's stress. <laughs> I, know, I, know some I see I see a lot of stressed out man still they, 100%. they'll be happy for this hairline I was complaining about this hairline earlier but no oh, man your hairline's good man mm, yeah it's mind games in corners is mind games but no nah, you're good you have two good. fibers and I'm in the game you get me so anyway so boom so you see I, I left the road at 08 innit mm. that's when I left yeah but obviously you lot were still fully in it innit um, 08 was when I dropped really the most volume 2 so I was, I was doing music. How, what year was your first album that you dropped? Um, my first solo thing was 07, but North Star, Not Guilty. I think we, Not Guilty, we dropped, either we dropped it in 03 or we made it in 03. Mm -hmm. but I do remember making tunes for Not Guilty in 03. You see, um, so obviously, like you said, you, you tried to focus on the music thing, but you know, you went broke. You start robbing man. Mind games, right? Cool. You don't need to repeat it, but go on. I know you've never been broke. Hit this guy, bro. Why do you keep saying that? You think I've broke. never been broke? Bro, this guy believes every. You sent me the pictures, remember? When you, you remember with the little cars and all that. Oh, like, guy, maybe when you was younger, you get what I'm saying? Oh, but I ain't got them pictures. I ain't got them pictures when I was that age. But listen now, what I means. So, <laughs> you bro. get me? I could probably get a one with a pedal or something, Katana. <laughs> get me? But when and you I got, got that on HP, but God. But you're good though, man. <laughs> you're sitting here, you're fresh. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. You know what I mean? Alhamdulillah. You see, you see what you see. Like when you start robbing, man. I bet that created enough problems. I bet it didn't. No. I bet it didn't. I bet I'm still here, like you said, and I'm fresh. No, and I'm, but I'm saying I when, bet it didn't. But when, when I you, bet I haven't had one scar because I've robbed anyone. Seriously. Not one. Do you get what I'm saying? Not one. The man was shook by that time, and that probably. You, you know what it is? You got. You know what it is? I wouldn't. I don't suggest um, people doing it because. One thing with man is like, it's not, it's not like, remember, you do always have to worry about that comeback as far as like Carlito's way. I don't let nothing leave my memory type mm. of thing. But a lot of people do, a lot of people do chat rubbish as well. And a lot of people, yeah, hold that. You get what I'm saying? Because 
Yeah. Like, what is it? <laughs> Let me not even go to you, man. See, when a man gets robbed, bro, they don't forget that, you know. I'll tell you that now. I've been robbed. You've been robbed, yeah? Yeah, I've been robbed. When I was younger. Yeah, that's different. I won the one time. You get me? Yeah, but that's like a, like a what would it take? Um, Tom. But what I mean is like seeing the game and people get robbed for like food and them things, they, yeah. they take that personally, bro. A lot of men will hold that for 10 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a long time, you mm. know? And like, a, but you're smart than what you said though. Like you never let nothing lose, leave your memory, innit? Yeah, 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 never let nothing lose my you memory. What I mean? Like I know the thing, but. So it's even like when I see certain men, like, I saw, I'll tell you a story quick here. Yeah? The youth in my ends probably rolled about 100 people. Mm. That's his thing. But yeah, not, yeah. No, not no, like he's licking man for 50 bags, 80 bags and stuff mm. like that. I saw him one day with slippers on walking down the road. Hmm. I said to him, bro, what are you doing? Yeah. And he goes, what? I said, bro, you've robbed a hundred men mm. and you've got slippers on. Mm. And I was there. And he goes, oh, bro, that's time ago. I was like, bro, you've forgotten because you spent the money in it. Mm. They ain't forgotten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was there yeah, and yeah. that's slipping. And he kind of looked at me like I was mad, you know? Yeah. And that was in jail. The first time I, I, when I was a youth man, I was in prison. My mm. regiment West. I came out on the wings. That's where it goes left when you go to jail. jail. Yeah, <laughs> that's where it goes. See, left, when yeah. I when I, every, I go to jail and I realize, rah, rub this, rah, don't I rub that? <laughs> Cause I've, I've all got bang in my face yeah, and them thing. Yeah, I've yeah. got like imagine I'm down fucking a duification waiting. I've just had a thing with with I had a rock with some you. He won the fight. Mm. <laughs> He's too big. You get me, Jimmy? But yeah, boom, I had a rock with one you. Poked him up though. You get me? Got my. But anyway, boom, I'm down block whatever. To, People in the cell, in it, like come, come run in the cell, and that. I'm just there waiting. Boom, man, it's just bang. I can't believe I've got a bang in my face. You get me, but boom, it's all good. excuse of calm, dude. But I come to realize after that, I think I was allegedly I was supposed to have robbed his people, them off some machines or some mm. shit. So obviously, boom, like like you said, Joe, you get you get into drama beef. It's just like. That's it, but man's in that life, so it kind of feels so normal. Yeah. When I was there mm. and whatever, whatnot. So, you know, when you look back now, yeah, mm. let me be honest, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm only ever honest. Yeah, that's true. When you, when you look back now, yeah, like, if you had the choice to go back and live life again, yep. would you do that? No. 100% in it? Yeah. I say exactly the same thing. Man, yeah. don't believe, man, you know. Yeah. I say there's no way I'll put myself through them things. Yeah. You know? Why? Why, innit? You don't know what's going to... But enough men want to live that life that we lived. Mm. They want to live it. Yeah. They're like excited. You know, start what I mean? Like, bro, man's been there. He's not the one, man. Mm. I don't care what you think you could achieve on there. It's going to touch you mentally. Mm. It might touch you physically. And some men are not here. Some men are in pain and whatever, yeah. whatnot. So it's kind of deep still. What Like, have you got like PTSD and stuff for you working from the road? Probably. Yeah, I think most of us has, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, we just don't know. We just keep, we just keep it, keep yeah, it moving. Yeah, probably innit? like it's just natural now, isn't it? Yeah, we just keep it moving, like, isn't it? It's a natural reaction for me to get in my car, for me to always looking at the mirrors, even when I'm parked up. It's a natural reaction. Natural like, you're not going to be able to run up on my car, like, you get what I'm saying, type of thing, unless I'm drunk, because that happened to me the other time anyway. <laughs> so, a star for a lot, no, I'm I going back to that issue. Man. Man. Well, like, GRM, I don't want to get into that issue. I weren't, I weren't talking about that. But yeah, so, you know, Pac said in the track back in the day, I always got worried about the payback. Mm. Some young buck that are roughed up way back coming mm. back after, after all, all these, these years. years. Right, tat, 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 tat. That's the way it's you know what I'm saying? So, boy, you've got to have that in the back of your mind, man. Because people don't forget. I don't moan about it. It is what it is, isn't it? Like, man lived it, so man That's can't complain about it. That's what I'm saying. See, with me, bro, yeah? Like, why I, why I live my life, why I'm cool as well, because, like, I sin, in it, yeah? Like, we all sin. But, I repent a lot more than people, I think. I repent yeah. a lot, innit? So I'm I'm happy within my within myself. So I, I, it's in the back of my mind, but if I be honest, it doesn't I that's don't a, care. That's a good thing actually you I mentioned. Don't I don't I don't over it like, oh yeah, this person's gonna I just live my life. But you, yeah, you gotta know is you know. Yeah, 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 I just I don't watch it though like obviously at the end I'm more I'm a man like this. I'm ready for the hair like if he goes mad now I'm cool. Cool, yeah. Type of thing. I've been in so much mad situations in my life, mm. unfortunately, that it's, it's made normal. me able to like if because I've had madnesses just like that, like that, and I'm able like safe in it. Yeah, you know I'm trying to say so. I don't overly feel. I just make sure now that I don't. I try and not put myself in certain situations. Type of thing. You know, you said you repent a lot, yeah. Yeah. Um, obviously you're Muslim, so for the viewers, boom. Mm. So you're Muslim, so. How's your journey with Islam like today? Like, 
How are you doing with it? Um, I'm not at my best. I'm not. I'm not fully on my dean at the moment. I need to get better, but I think we all need to get better. Mm. But I've definitely been more pattern than I am now. Do you not think it comes at a point where like you got to take that step, like? I got to do this now. Yeah, yeah of course, done. of course. But I've had that. I've taken that step before, and then I went, went backwards. Back. Do you get? I'm t- no, I've, I've, t- I've taken that step before. Like when I came back from Gambia, mm. um, big up Ibi, um, ruthless as well, Osman. I was on my dean, like proper. Mm, I was gonna say madly or stuff, like, but I was proper on my dean. Yeah, mm. I stopped smoking. I was praying five times a day. And I felt so struck, yeah. And um, but slowly but surely, I don't know, man. Life, life gets a hold of me, innit? And um, yeah. But like, big up Bashir as well, um, B double, because you know I was having a conversation with him, um, and he's kind of even made me like I picked back up my salah, because mm-hmm. I, I dropped my salah. I shouldn't even laugh, but I wasn't praying. Um, I wasn't praying as often. Like how I would like, I would like wake up for fudge or sometimes not even go to sleep and I'll do pray fudge. But, and then that's it. That's stuff all over. But I don't even end up praying nothing else. Yep. Isha, nothing else. But now I picked, I picked up my salat store. You know, one thing B-Double said, um, Bashir. Yeah. One thing he actually said one time was that. Big up Bashir. But yeah, big, up, big up Bashir. I was mm. speaking to him the other day store. Mm. You know, he said that like you gotta choose your battles carefully. Mm. Like you got you gotta pick your battles. What you meant by like we all gonna sin in it mm. there. Yeah. You gotta try to kind of like minimize it where you can. Mm. You understand what I mean? Mm. And this is I'll say, I always say this to everyone that and advice to myself first. Mm. Let's when we're like in public mm. and on camera, uh. let's try not to do them things because they and it's in Islam they enter a different category in it. And was there So smoking weed here Me and you we, Obviously we're not smoking weed But if yeah. we did mm. Is one thing But if we turn on that camera And we smoked it And let it go out online mm. Now Islamically That goes into a separate category now mm. So it's more than just smoking weed mm. so That's one advice I will give That I try to implement myself Because I'm not perfect bro Yeah now people there. People remember I've got brothers here mm. Like proper brothers here That's deep in the thing as well And man will, Certain times man will like Even when I started the podcast When I was praying When you're drinking do you get what I'm saying? So I get man thought like, oh, you drink. So you got oh, brothers like that around you. Oh, it's like them, you know, man thought like, blah, what are you do it? Like, you're smoking, and you can't be certain that I can. Re- like, I get that all the time, bro. But me, I'm me, fam. I don't have to answer to nobody. Like, I answer to Allah. Do you get what I'm saying? And yeah, of course. Do you get what I'm trying to say? I'm not out here. Like, I'm just being me, bro. I wasn't born Muslim. I was born Catholic. I've got different things to me that I've. Mm-hmm. It's going to be harder for me to. Be more as disciplined as someone that's born into the faith. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, but hundred percent. I, I don't think. Do you get what I'm saying? I think that's a fact. I don't think them men are saying it to you because they want you to answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, that's I know. I'm I mean. not saying they're saying it, but yeah, yeah. I'm saying it. I'm saying yeah, that I don't have to hunt. I'm not saying they're yeah, saying yeah, cool. it. I'm just saying me. Everything I do, like I do, understand that I, I have to be accounted for. Mm. That's one thing I do know that I have, I'm accountable for everything I do. Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Not anyone else. It's me. I've got to answer for it. Yeah. But like I said, I picked, I picked back up my salah, so I answer for it five times a day. Mm-hmm. So when I say to other people, don't please don't worry about me. I mm-hmm. understand. And there's nothing you're telling me that I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But you maybe know, I'm just weaker than you. You know what? You know you what I'm is? trying to say. Maybe I'm just weaker than you. And one day, inshallah, I'll, I'll get there. Yeah, you know, you know, I'm uh, mm. uh, uh, one of the companions, mm. Ali Radi Anho. Mm. He said, I, I believe it was him. He said the statement that a friend is someone. Who tells you about you know when you're doing something yeah, yeah. wrong and was mm, there? Yeah. So you know one thing you don't want around you is yes men. Yeah. yeah. It was there because th- I'm telling you you will go deeper into it. So you see mm. like with me personally. Mm. So growing up, I never had no olders. Mm. I became the older for the olders. You know that yeah, type yeah. of bad thing. Yeah? yeah. So I'm fixing everyone's problems. Mm. So I never kind of had people that I could kind of like you know fall back on. Mm. And was there, but now obviously as I got older and whatever, I've put certain men. In that position now, mm. where they could phone me and say, "Yo, you slipping," and was yeah, there, yeah. and I find it good. Mm. And I mean, like, man, who are real OGs, yeah, you know, yeah like some of them yeah. you know, yeah, Come on, man. like real brothers who were serious, but they're on the mm. dean now. Yeah, so yeah. sometimes they they hit me up, "Yo, brother, you're slipping," you know, mm. and whatever. And I, 
and I need that sometimes. Yeah, yeah. You understand what I mean? Yeah. Bro, you might catch me in the traffic lights banging some pack one day. You'll be like, what's, what's this bread doing? You know what? Mm. I'll tell you something, yeah? I got, a, a f- a, I got hit up a few times from, you know, East London Masjid. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. East London Mosque, and there's another mosque, uh, is, is the Imam's name is Mutaza Khan. They've hit me up and said, can you give a talk in the masjid? Mm. In the mosque. And I, I said, no, I, I didn't do it, yeah? Mm. Because like you, mm. I feel, nah, that's, that's like a, that's another level, isn't it? Mm. You start know what I mean? Because you're in the mosque now talking, like, it's different, it's a different level of like, Piety and righteousness. Do you mm. understand what I mean? I don't. I don't feel I'm there. Do you understand what I mean? Because mm. just man's podcasting or whatever, bro, bro. Like man's still in that situation. If a man steps to man, yeah, but that's that's yeah, but there's nothing in your in the Quran. Yeah, to of course. Yeah, but what, yeah, but, but what I mean is like we said, I mean? like we said, but the walls become sensitive, isn't it? Yeah, it's there. Yeah. So tomorrow, if, the world might become sensitive, but if you're going by the book, the but, Quran, but you I mean don't care like, about the world. If you're if man's in the masjid giving a lecture and then tomorrow you bust someone's head open, mm. not that man's planning to. Yeah, yeah, of course, but they needed man, their head bust open. Yeah, but what I'm saying is like, it's just man's, uh, so I said, look, I'm not like on that level. Have, have you seen that um, brother on the internet, Akhi Ayman? No. The brother from Lewisham? No. Kurdish brother? No. So mashallah, you know, he's, he's a brother. I I um, encourage enough kids to listen to him. Mm. Like, you know, you know we've got, we got a lot of young kids. I don't know, especially in my community. Mm. And it's kind of like they're infatuated with the road. Yeah. Like really infatuated with it. But I'm telling them, yo, listen, that life there's got consequences that maybe you cannot handle. Yeah. Well, once they touch you, you're done mentally for the rest of your life. Mm. So there's someone I believe you've got to reach out to, isn't it? Mm. So this brother here, he's from Lewisham. He went through some madness when he was young. Like madness. So he must have been chilling with certain brothers, got caught up in a certain issue, got into a drama. Mm. I'm surprised you ain't seen it, man. There's quite a lot of videos on TikTok and stuff. So the youth's like, he got stabbed up, mm. lost his bow. They took his bow, bow out and he got the clostomy bag and all that. Mm. But imagine when he's come out of hospital, he's come out of hospital five, six days and they've napped him. They've napped him and tortured him, mm. making him drink bleach or whatever. And they're recording it. Mm. They're recording the thing, you know, and they put it, I think they put it out there, okay. there and whatever. So he was only like, I think 19, he was, a, he was a kid still. But what had happened before that, he got caught up in, I think, I'm assuming he's got caught up in a little bit local beef mm. with some click and whatever. And they, yeah. but when he's hit like 18, he's gone jail and he didn't like, he didn't, he didn't like the experience. Mm. So I think he's come out and said, that's it. I'm leaving the road. I'm not, I'm done. He's only 18, you know, yeah. he's, he's, he's a kid. Baby. But bro, think about, on road at 18, you're telling your enemies, like, look, I don't want to, bro, they're going to jump on that. Mm. Do you understand what I mean? They, they look, because they look at that as a weakness, isn't it? Uh. So he, he got a job and everything. Mm. He got stabbed coming back from his first day of work. Of course he did. Do you understand what I mean? Mm. First day, I think it was, he said, bam. And it's a, it's a sad story. Mm. But, and I say to, and I, why I tell the kids to listen to that is, bro, that's, you know, the road is savage, you know? Yeah, 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 come on. And if you can't be a savage, you're going to get eaten up on road. Mm. You're going to get touched somewhere along the line. Even brothers who are savages get touched. Mm. Brothers who are savages get touched. You obviously, you're looking at one. So the brother, obviously, when he got, <laughs> when he got napped and them things there, he left it and said, look, I'm leaving the situation to Allah. More time when you leave it to Allah, <laughs> you're going to win, bro. I believe personally, if mm. a man put his hands on you, you know what Malcolm X said? Mm. If a man put his hands on you, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's done. yeah. yeah, yeah. That's the minhaj on Yeah, that's yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And whatever, and it's like it's in me, innit? It's still I can feel yeah, it. It's a natural there. thing, innit? So I feel kind of like it's it's better for me to just you know just do my own thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I look mean? with that um, prevention is better than cure, and exactly. Yeah. So sometimes that. I won't go to a certain spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm Boom. saying? Where before I would take myself places that like, I'll go places uninvited in that. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Look, even do you get what I'm saying? But I don't do that no more. Yeah. If I'm not invited, a certain time even if I'm invited, I don't go. Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? But prevention is better, better than, than cure. Cure, 100%. Like you said, prevention is better, better than cure. cure. When yeah, yeah. There. So sometimes a man invite me, I'll be like, bro, nah, I'm not on that. And I was there. Mm. Even now, as I'm older, I'll, I'll give you an example. A bre- I've gone somewhere one day where my mind was telling me, don't go. Mm. My mind's telling me, don't go. I'm not even rolling on these times. Mm. So I've gone to the place and I see a brother that I didn't want to see. I was like, cool. I try to avoid him in the place. 
but he's trying to come approach me. The conversations got heated, and I put hands on him. Mm. You know what I mean? Like I knew not to go there, and I was kind of disappointed more in myself, you know. Mm. So I, I knew I should have avoided that and whatever. So that's a good bit of advice from you, though. Still, yeah, yeah, yeah. come on, prevention man. is better, better than cure. Because that's what I'm saying. Certain places, like my will phone me and say, ah, oh, da 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 da. But I think, nah, cause if I go, if I'm going there, I gotta make sure I'm governed, yeah. And certain, I'm just not gonna go if it's that sort of governed. You get me? But I mean, but certain places I can't help it though. But I'll just make sure it's governed. But spray moving on, you know, to now and whatever. Mm. You're doing the podcasting thing. Yeah, yeah. And he's, you know what? When I came to your show, it was three hours, wasn't it? The show. Um, I think so. It went like it was like an hour. Mm. Cause you know, man, it's just man them chatting. You know, always in Spray's comments, what you see. People saying, Spray, why, why are you always interrupting the guest? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And still, I'm like, bro, still saying it now. but it's not that. This is not a job interview, bro. Yeah, yeah no, this is man, now. This is man, them, like, this is what people need to understand. If you want to go watch, I don't know, a seminar, go watch a seminar, bro, mm. you know? This is gangsters. Bro, well, be real. Mm. You were a gangster, bro. You just know what I mean? This is ex roadman gangsters or whatever you want to call it sitting out having a conversation and yeah, yeah, trying they, trying there's no yeah. there's no structure in it yeah, it's there yeah, yeah, yeah. it's whatever but that's mm. that's that's how it's meant to be though mm. you know, it's there, I'm like, getting better huh nah, but, getting better bro, nah, but it's, I, I wouldn't watch that you know yeah, yeah but i think with me well i think they've noticed now nah, but i think it's, i've got adhd or clearly and they've told me nah, but it's like i bro, think that's what it is isn't it because if i think something it's like what you said earlier with the blackies thing it's like i didn't mean it it's just come in my brain and it yeah, goes that's, out. That's the one thing, but I think no, but you get what I'm saying? Like that's what it is with me. Like I can't if I think something, it can't stay in my head too long. I have to let it out. Yeah, bro. You know what? So I, I think I, that's that's where my problem is with I interrupting. Look at, I look at that when you interrupt mm. as a good thing though, because it's man them chatting. It's organic, mm. innit? You understand mm. what I mean? Like you go on like maybe a certain platform and Brad's sitting there behind the camera asking man questions mm. or whatever. That's some, that's that's something different. Yeah, yeah. No, you there. just have to be more mindful. I, I get it. I, 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 I get it sometimes, innit? Because there's certain episodes where I know, like, I, could, I should have been better. Going on to that, your podcast that we spoke about over the yeah, phone. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to call him the racist guy. Mm. He was there. Yeah. Bro, explain to me, because we've not had, like, a deep conversation about yeah. it. Like, explain to me how that happened. I'm going to tell you something first mm. before we get into that. So, before he came on your show, mm. I get a phone call yeah. from someone. Obviously, you know who it is. I'm not going to say their name on the thing. Yeah, yeah. I get a message or whatever. Would you have a? Would you do a show with my man? Mm. But remember, like I think that's for me. Like my history mm. has a lot to do with my answer. Yeah, yeah. that's what I mean. Mm. So hold on, I'm saying like, hold on, I'm in prison, splashing breads mm. for this thing. You know, yeah, I was there, yeah, like, yeah. and you <laughs> want me to sit down with my? Well, you be, bro, do you know who you're asking? Like, do you know? Like, I was like, because brother, remember, like. See the brother thing? Uh, I was on this thing in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brother, I was on this. You move to a brother in front of me, uh, he's on. Yeah, but, yeah. I, but see with me, I wasn't doing it in the oppressive way. If a brother's wrong, I'm telling him, bro, you're wrong. You yeah, know? Yeah. But no one's moving to you. There was an issue one time in Joe. A gunman from South, I think you might know the you as well. Yeah, probably. He's got into an issue with a Muslim brother. Mm. But he's my local though. Man run my local. Do you mm. understand? So he's got into an issue in the gym now and he wants to move to the guy. So I've told the brother from South, yo, you can't move to him. He's like, what's it got to do? We just say, bro, he's Muslim. You're not moving to him, innit? Mm. He's there. He's going to be mad if you move to him. Mm. And the issue had nothing to do with me. I never knew the you at all. You know, was there. But yeah. I said, nah, because you can't do that. You know, was there. But the way my thing was a bit different because I wasn't with the bandwagon. Mm. You know, was there. Like, you know, everyone's jumping on this thing. Yeah. I just had my own beliefs, innit? Yeah. I was there. But my belief was, bro, just because someone's a non-Muslim, uh, you can't do nothing to them because just because they're non-Muslim, you know, was there. Uh, like I would, I would not let you step to a bread just for no reason because you're non-Muslim. That you can't do that in front of me. Yeah, so that was my thing was fair, but at the same time, I got to I got to help protect my people in it. Because mm. remember, we've gone through jail as especially as someone who's Asian mm. for the racist stuff in it, mm. where man's trying to take man for idiot and you yeah, yeah. do madness. So I'm saying now, nah, like I've been through that. So the Muslim thing, I took that seriously in jail. And whatever so when the brothers hit me up i got angry you know and i yeah. I, I feel i should apologize to the guy you know mm. i feel i got angry like bro it's, it's personal you yeah how dare you ask me, dare to, you ask uh, me. Yeah. like yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's an insult you just yeah, asking me that you know, yeah. there because i was like bro i'm not you're bro, you don't understand you know i was there so mm. if my if my man then my people saw me on the platform with him 
bro, mm. they will go mad. Mm, mm, mm. They will go. Mad. I don't have to answer to no one. Yeah, yeah I was just about to say my people went yeah, mad, but bro, they bro, will go bro, mad. You know, was there went mad and, then what? and whatever. So anyway, but what I'm saying, spray. But what I'm mm. saying is, it's yeah. a bit different for you. you know, was yeah. there because you said you like you didn't even know what the guy was on. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So, but I did before I started it. I didn't know when I booked it in, but I did know before I started the, the podcast. podcast. Yeah, okay, I said that as well. So, boom. Now, so how did that ha- go around? Tell me that. All right, boom. So, man's messaged me from jail. He's out now anyway. But man's messaged me from jail said, oh, would you have Tommy Tommy Robinson on your um, podcast? So, I was like, yeah, why not? Do you get what I'm saying? I didn't really know too much about him at the time. I kind of knew he's, um, I just thought he's a patriot, innit? You know, patriots, because that's what initially the um, episode was going to be about, you know, patriotism and um, racism, that sort of vibe anyway. So I said, yeah, why not? Boom, boom, cut a long story short. Patterned it, innit? Got the number, whatever, whatever. So my man said, yeah, he's on coming. Then obviously beforehand, I got to do like, let me research, you get me? So I've done a little research, whatever. That's when I started to raw my man. <laughs> he's against Islam, you get me? Yeah. Freaking rotted. So now, it's do I cancel or do I fucking go through, innit? Mm. Remember, like you said, it's different for you, innit? Like you had that in your heart. I didn't get that in my heart. I'm not even gonna lie. I didn't get that feeling. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? When even when I, I thought raw, but then in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, okay, well, it's something to talk about. That's when I found respect. Yeah, do 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 do. I anyway. see that you try to get someone to refute him. Yeah, I, I, I rate that. I, I see I you try. try that. Yeah, yeah, I know, but he just wasn't. A lot of people was like, oh, you should have got someone else. Yeah, someone more knowledgeable. Yeah. yeah, and the the maddest thing about it is um, big up Smiley Musa from um, RSG's Roadside G's. Yeah, I was chatting to Musa. I chat, I chatting to him on the way there, and I was like, yo, I need to pull up, but he was a bit busy. You know, you. you but respect done. I think he tried. I he think tried, he tried. Yeah, I think tried, people were a bit tried. too bad, too too, tried, like he's, too he's, thingy he's, on him. He's, he's a new Muslim himself. Yeah, like I think people was too bad on him. Like you know, like, like he, everyone's opinionated, bro. Like do you get man, people see? got opinions like who shouldn't even have an opinion. You know, so mm. like he tried and whatever. Um, but as you, but as you can see, I don't. Well, obviously, I know you ain't. You probably ain't seen it. But now watch the whole. Thing. Okay, okay. So you saw it was like a car crash. Bro, I, it was like basically just everyone just talking. It was. It was. You know what it was. I don't watch full podcasts and it's hard because this lasts for so long. I'm running uh, about uh, here, uh. they're all over the place, yeah. And then I've got to concentrate on my own thing and you know, whatever, whatnot. So yeah. I don't, but that I listen to the whole thing mm. A to Z. Yeah, yeah. Like a certain time I want to jump through the TV screen. Yeah, and, yeah. Because yeah, <laughs> even that's what I'm saying. A lot of the time, because I messaged you straight away. No, like, but my, your phone, but my you phone was off. Phone but was my, off. my bridging from um, Ibi from um, Gambia. Mm. I think we, I phoned him on the on the show. He was disgusted. Remember, I phoned someone on the show. And I was like, and he's like, I can't chat to them Monday. Mm. Remember, I phoned he was, someone, yeah, I know, and he's oh. like, I, I, there's never, there's nothing. I don't, I'm not going to answer him because there's nothing I could say that will change this guy's mm. mind. That's how a lot of my people look at like they yeah, they yeah, feel like you in it. You see, if you don't agree with Islam, mm. no problem. That's your opinion. But mm. like, if I'm debating with a man about Christianity, mm. I'm never going to disrespect his religion. Mm. There, even if I don't agree with stuff in there, because yeah. there's some bu- stuff in the Bible is wild, mm. but it's gonna be in a, like a, how can I put it, put it like a, a respectable way, isn't it? Yeah, it was yeah, there. Yeah. You see the way he done his thing, mm. it was disrespectful. If he just came along at, uh, from the start mm. and was like, look, you know what, I don't, he doesn't agree with it, and these are the reasons and stuff like that. Mm. But he came across with that, I be- he came across with that vile thing. Mm. I believe he is a one of the main reasons. Why attacks against Muslim women went up so much in the UK? Yeah. In the last, if you look at the statistics, Muslim women, mm. like you know, because they can't be racist to men them no more. Uh. If you look at the statistics, the attacks against Muslim women mm. out the roof, and I believe he's single handedly responsible for that. He was mm. there, and whatever, whatnot. So yeah, so when you were on the show, I watched the whole thing. Yeah, it was like a, everyone was talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th- I don't think it was It's got the most views though Yeah he's got the most views I don't think it was a, Like no one really had the knowledge To debate with him I've noticed he's never debated With someone Who has knowledge mm. Like you know like Some of the brothers Who are on YouTube who have, Ali Dawa like, Maybe not him But you know like Mohammed Hijab That's who okay. Mohammed Hijab That's the one who's Mohammed studied Hijab. Well I think Ali Someone said to me About this Ali Dawa like, yeah, yeah, Ma- 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 Mohammed Hijab He was the one that you kind of Probably needed needed okay. to debate with the okay. guy And was there Because some of the stuff He was just saying is basic bro And mm. was there But it, that's that's my whole point People keep saying these things It wasn't That wasn't what 
it was supposed to be about. Mm. Oh, you it wasn't the conversation wasn't even meant to go there. You, you bro, you you featured on my show. We just talked. You get what I'm saying, mm. and it goes like like I said, it was based. It was literally supposed to be about racism. Oh, Black Lives Matter, the whole th- Not issue. Black Lives Matter, but racism. Is yeah. he racist or is he not racist? What do you think now? Is he racist? You know I'm trying to, of course he's racist, but <laughs> is it, I've told him that. Seriously. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, of course he's racist, but, but, but... Do you think he knows he's racist? Of course he knows he's racist. I think he might be delusional. No, 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 he's not delusional. Like, well, he, he might be delusional. But what, what people... What, he don't mind black people, though. But what people don't realise, he doesn't like Asians. Therefore, yeah. that makes him racist. Yeah, do you understand? Course, yeah. But like I said before, yeah, I feel like a lot of people are racist. Mm. And I still have that. Like, Even though people are like, oh, yeah, black people can't be racist. Yes, we can. Yeah, but bro, there's levels of racism. Like to bro, me, yeah, there's levels, but racism's racism. Bro, it's, bro, like, like, it's like there's levels of sinning, but a sin's a sin. And but bro, bro, what I'm saying is there's a level, like you said, there's a level of racism. A man's just racist. Like he's, he don't go out and promote. You're racist. It. You're racist. But what I'm saying is, that's to me. I don't yeah, care course, what I agree with you, you are. If you're level ten racist or level what one I mean racist, is, Ray, but the you're racist. Is, you're racist. He's went and promoted the ideology. Mm. You understand what I mean? And there's mm. been ramifications for the community because yeah, yeah, yeah. of yeah. what he's done. Mm. I don't think he's even realizes the harm that he's done mm. to the Muslim women in our community. Yeah, he mm. was there. He doesn't realize. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah, there. Don't. He doesn't have a clue. So, so you know that. So you, because uh, I saw you went out to Spain with him, and yeah, there was yeah, a part where he done. said something about Islam. That he said I'm the, en- he said I'm an enemy of Islam, and you kind yeah, of he just went, lost his. Soul. You went he a just, bit mad. Yeah, he just lost his. Soul. And whatever, he just what got not a bit comfortable. But Tommy's but, like that's what I'm saying. Me and Tommy get on because mm. I've actually dealt with him as a man, innit? And he's dealt with me as that's a why, but that's a why for that story. You know what but, I think? Should he? What I think deep down? Mm, go on. I think he knows Islam's the truth. Do you know at the time of the at the time of the Prophet Sallam? Mm. There was enemies of the Prophet mm. But they deep down knew he's a messenger of God mm. They knew he's the messenger of God But you know that pride, my tribe, my my people You know, like It's very similar I feel he's kind of got to that point where he knows this is the truth But because of, you know, if he t- Imagine now he steps bro, His whole life has been based on one thing mm. It was there And for him to now say I was wrong you know what? I chat to him. He definitely don't think it's the truth. Still. No, no, no. I think I, I, bro. he's against Islam. Still, you think? Yeah, yeah. No, I chat to him. That's what I'm saying. I know we have, I, I, we have debates all the time. That's what I'm saying. It's not just a thing where we've just like we have debates all the time. He's like, I try and tell him all the time. He's, he's against Islam. I, I try and tell him like it's not Islam. It's da 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 da. Then he'll come and tell me something else. Well, look at this spray. Da da da. You get what I'm saying? But. Like I said, I understand Tommy, and I, I've, I, because we talk. Remember, a lot of people they just get to see whatever they see or whatever this racist guy, guy mad or whatever. But I actually chat to the guy, and like I said, I'm from the eighties. I'm from a time where I've grown up with a million Tommies. Like I know Tommies. Ching full of them sides. Like I know yeah. Tommies. Do you get what I'm trying to say? They might not be as bold as Tommy. Yeah. But when they go back to their house. When they go back to the house, it's definitely like, oh, like it's all the black jokes and all that. There's all you think the Tommy's black like jokes. Huh? You think Tommy's like that? Probably behind closed mm. doors. I don't know, but I'm saying, but I'm saying like, I know Tommy's in it, but they they cool. You get what I'm saying? We're cool in it. Like, you know what's really crazy? And it's not from a sense. Like I said, I'm not from a sensitive time. Do you mm. get what I'm trying to say? So I'm a, I'm from a time where I can. Al- I, your opinion is not gonna do nothing for me. Nothing, nothing to me As long as Like you said When he said that Enemy It kind of yeah. triggered me innit? I'm thinking No that's the wrong word Don't say you're my enemy You understand car How my deal with enemies Is different You know you know what's really deep You know if someone's racist And they say they're racist and As long as they're not bothering me I don't even care mm. I'm not even bothered about it mm. I was there As long as they're not Trying to move to man And stuff like that Okay you're racist Cool innit mm. I was there I think like he needs to accept it Like boom That he's racist or whatever No but Whether he accepts it or not That's not going to help I think he's, I think he's, I think he's a little bit delusional. Though, I'm not gonna lie to you. you. Get what I'm saying? I'm starting to clock that a little bit. Like he's a little bit kind of like he's, he's a bit, I don't know. He's like he's not with reality sometimes. You understand what I mean? And whatever. But I, I've noticed. I feel the pressures getting to him. Tom, see Tommy here yeah, now. His battle is against. It's more. He wants to pattern with the Muslims. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. See what? But this is what I'm saying. He's delusional. Oh, this is what I'm saying to you. He's delusional. Mm. Who says all that? He's saying that same stuff. About 
to today and then on the that's what I'm saying delusional but on the second hand he says I want to Link up with the Muslims and you know the now we, I think he's against the, the government and the so what's that called red pill blue pill or something I don't know, I don't what it's know but yeah so now he's against the government now and the Muslims are standing up I don't know but I don't think he's delusional I think he's confused which mm -hmm. is there's two different meanings Do you, I don't think Tommy's delusional at all because I've been with him but you don't I even think, know you know Spray, you don't even realize how deep it is yeah, yeah I know I know that's a why for that but I'm saying like trust me like I remember. Like I said, yeah, a lot of people are going from off what they've seen on camera. What your like, personal, personal, I, like how we, I've, so I know in it. Like yeah. I don't know, maybe he might put himself out on camera as a certain person. I don't know because I haven't seen all of his past stuff, so I don't know. But, but do you, do you, I do know that what I get from Tommy and from my research or whatever. Is that, yeah, I feel like he doesn't like Asians. That's just my personal, he might say something else, mm -hmm. yeah, but my personal take of it is that you don't like Asians because obviously I've, I've been in Woodhill, so I know they've got it locked in it, Berry Park and all that. I don't know, he probably had to, might have had to take a couple of violations, I don't know. But you know what it is? But there's something is it, no, is what's it, made him I know, I know not it. like Asians. Right. The, I, know, I'm saying? I know the Luton Bros, isn't it? Okay. The Bros, the names that he's mentioned once or twice, mm. I know them people, isn't it? <laughs> so boom now so with my man like you see the the Luton thing mm. so obviously like I'm like good at Luton and yeah, yeah that's man's people yeah, yeah, you know yeah, so what I mean so remember the see with places like Luton Slough like warm so they hold me like in high regard yeah, 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 and was yeah. there because certain the way man moved on road and but it's not then man left the road mm. so they're like yo the brother really kind of turned his life around yep. they knew me mm -hmm. and whatever so they respect that as well so the other day they had a uh, in ramadan they had an iftar in slough okay a hundred man or whatever came and i'm the only bread they invited from my ends and was there slough yeah yeah because yeah, what I'm, I've, I've got um I've got good connections in Slough. Yeah, now Slough's, that's, like, like Slough. Reading Slough is kind of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. there, isn't it, next to each other. We got there. fast lane, you get me? So, see see what it is. See, like, down here, mm. Slough, Reading, Luton, mm. yeah, Warm Stone, East London, Leighton Stone, it's all that kind of interlinked. There's people that are going to know yeah, yeah. your style. I mean, that's kind of how it works. You see, Reading, Reading was a bit different. Reading, you see what it was, you see like in Luton and Slough and places like that, they've got big Asian communities. Mm. So them man like, would do business within their own circles and communities, you understand what I mean? So, mm. you see when you go Reading, you won't find, for example, Brez picking up a hundred bricks. Mm. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not talking about weed, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Because when you got that type of weight, seeing Reading, mm. if you want to move that type of weight, you got to deal with the black road utes. Yeah. It was there. Mm. And bro, like like I said, Black Road Utes, they'd be a bit more greasy. Mm. And was there. The robbery, they do their thing in it, you understand yeah. what I mean? So in Reading, you can't pick up a hundred bricks and move it within the man, like the, yeah. the Asian community. So so I was the brer that in was kind of in between, innit? Yeah, yeah. They rated that still, like mm. okay, my man, you know? Boom. So the whole history of the Luton thing, mm. I know everything. Like the whole thing. I've sat down with the man and like said, brother, what's this brer's? issue and mm. was there so they've oh no, I, and you know what even out of respect i'm not even gonna get into it because i know mm. i know stuff that people don't know yeah, yeah i've been told you know what i mean yeah so they probably the brez that he's named has told me in my face mm. well this is boom 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 you know what i mean so i think he's a bit dishonest about that you know what i mean like he mm. but he should like kind of say that that's the backstory in it you know what i mean but he doesn't want to say the backstory and whatever but anyway but moving, yeah, we get, get, moving from from him, what, so you still chat to him today? Yeah, right? yeah, I admit it. Like that's what I'm you saying. Explain, when I, it? Well, yeah, when I went to do that podcast, yeah, um, I met his mom and dad. Okay, you know the good people. Mm. <laughs> do you get what I'm saying? Like, do they hold they, the same views as him though? Huh? Do I don't know. They, okay. I, I don't know. But they were they were nice people. Nice people. Do you yeah. get what I'm trying to say? They would. Mm. They didn't seem racist. I came, you know me. I'm just a joker, innit? Yeah, so yeah. as soon as I come in there, oh, you right? Oh, I'm, I'm Tommy's black power. I'm his one black power. I'm mm, mm, mm. going mad with my madness straight away. You get me? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, I'm the because I've, I've, I've come, I've come in the place and I've seen, bro, I'm the only black person. I'm like, oh, you know, I'm the one black. I'm his one black mate, and his mum was like, no, you're not. Mm. Is that black man? You get what I'm saying? So we got on still. When you were young, did you support England in football? 
did I support England football course I did nah, see, see us man bro that was like a because see when we were kids uh, we linked racism with football innit because mm. we're nine years old bro mm -hmm. was there, so we don't we're not going to like deep it mm. we just knew like cause the football ground was in our ends innit mm. so we kind of got to deal with that every week basically yeah, yeah. so we linked football and racism okay this is the same kind of thing and we're yeah, there yeah. so obviously being obviously now I know that wasn't correct but Bro, when England plays, mm. we used to like kind of borderline pray they lose. Yeah. It was there like, because just, bro, like mm. I, bro, we went through a lot, a lot of deep stuff, you know, mm. stuff that 10, 11 year olds shouldn't go through. Yeah, yeah. It was there. But do you know what it is? Like I said, yeah, I weren't born here, bro. I was born in a little island called Dominica mm. with a population of 70,000, yeah. under 80,000. So I was proud to be. Yeah, not like that. Like I've all sound like Uncle Tom, whatever, call me whatever. Mm. Do you get what I'm talking? I was proud. Nah, man, I was never proud. Yeah, but because as far as I was concerned, I'm I'm somewhere with a lot more opportunity than where I was. Like, do you get what I'm trying to say? And for us, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Yeah, I've yeah. always been on that British thing. Still, I mean, East London, yeah. isn't it? Cop, East, like, yeah, maybe that's the reason. Why for that? That's what I had to finish it. But you, you know what it is for mm. us? We didn't, we didn't even get a chance to feel that though. But that's what I'm saying. I mean. Remember, with you, you've grown up with a, with with the whole football ground. Remember, you you came on our show, so I know what, how it was, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, Having yeah. the madnesses with the they're being racist, they're yeah. running. So I know what's going on. So that's what I've never been in that situation. Yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? I ain't gone football. I ain't have no like Leighton Orient and all that. They, they, yeah, they, yeah, of they, course. Tottenham Hotspur down the road, like it's never been that. Mm. We've never had. Stuff with football hooligans. Like. You know, 06, I'm in the block mm. in Wellingborough. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm in the block. Mm. Allegedly, I stabbed someone, but I didn't. Yeah, yeah. Come I'm on. in the block. It's 06, England's playing Portugal. Yeah. In the semi final, quarter final. Yeah. Bro, that's big, a yeah. massive game, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So I'm in the block and I ain't got TV. Mm. But the prison officers are listening to it. <laughs> and I could hear it, innit? Yeah. Bro, I'm praying. <laughs> God, yeah. They need to lose. Yeah, and there. Yes, yeah. Bro, I'm in the blocks, so that kind of like yeah. thinking me is even worse than yeah, yeah, I was yeah. there. <laughs> bro, you see when they lost. Bro, like, I, like kicking the door now. Bro, I think they I think they actually contemplate should we go and brock him up. <laughs> like, you know, they was they, they yeah. were upset, innit? Because yeah. they thought they're gonna make it, you know, yeah. there. Bro, I was that was a good night. Mm. But obviously now I'm now because I'm older, I realise why mm. it was there and it wasn't right, it was there. Mm. But like, bro, man's nine, ten years old, and you're making man. A f All I'm hearing is go back to your own country, go back uh, to your own country. But I'm thinking, I, I swear this is man's own country. And it was uh, there. That, nah, that but I've always known it weren't my own country. Yeah, but but you understand. But like, I'm saying that's the difference yeah. between why I'm able to embrace yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. If that makes sense, I've always, I've never, I've always known this ain't my country yeah, type yeah. of thing. But I've see, just but, embraced but this, it but as this, my. But this is the scandal spray. Mm. They tell us on one hand, this is your country. They've never told me that, bro. What? You did in school, I've going never, through the educational system, they try to make you believe. Is, this is my country. No, I've just never. I'm not you born never, here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? I'm not born here. I had my. I came here when I was seven. Well, you so my roots is Dominican. Do you reckon you would have been different if you were born here? Probably. Yeah, I was born here. You get what I'm saying? I reckon yeah, yeah. that's when I'd feel it more. Like, what do you mean go where? Like, because I'm thinking I'm born here, mm. so I'd feel it more. Like, what do you mean go where? Go back where you come from? I was born here. Probably. What do you? Do you get what I'm saying? Like, that would get my That's, back up. This, this one, trying you to get what I'm saying? That would like, get my back up. Bro, what do you mean go back where I come from? Bro, man's, I, man's nine, ten years old. I'm like, go where though? Yeah, I mean, do you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, where yeah, I go? Yeah. Was there. So it was like, it was from, bro, I can remember racism, I think from eight, nine years old. Yeah. And it was there. And it's never from little kids. Yeah. It's always from men. We used to have a park, we used to play in it. Mm. They would drive past the park, make monkey noises and stuff yeah. like that. And it was there and just go back. And it's like, man never understood it. But it's only now when I'm old, I can look back now. I bet they can't do it now. They couldn't do it. Bro, do you know what I'm saying? I really can't do it now because a lot of shit what used to happen back in the day, like it's just not. Like, listen, what happened one time? Do you know what I mean? Got a phone call one day, in my like just in my in my ends, some Muslim women got kind of attacked by mm. men. They were attacked by men act here. Mm. So obviously, man's gone there now. Seen the Brez act. Mm. Like, you see the way the man took out the frustration. I'm not saying it was yeah. me. You know what's yeah, there? Yeah. Come on, act. You know when you just when people just kind of lose it, yeah, yeah, yeah. like whatever happens happens. And it was yeah, there. Yeah. I have never seen someone beat like that in my life, bro. Everyone got it. Yeah, it, yeah. Wallah, you know what it was like. You know that scene in the uh, the Bronx Tale when they go into the into the Italians uh, pub, uh, uh. 
and they try to be racist and whatever, and they mm, mash, up. mash him up. It was like that. Allegedly. And whatever, allegedly. But obviously, I don't, yeah, I don't know the names yeah, anyway, so it's, it's irrelevant. And it was there. So it's like, you see, when you're seeing that as a young youth, and it was mm. there, like, this is deep. So they never let man feel British. So man don't know how it feels to be British. Yeah, yeah. You understand what I mean, or whatever. And then the Muslim thing happens. Do you understand? Mm. Because do you remember 2001, the Bradford riots, um, Oldham, Manchester? No. You don't remember them 2001, the 2001 riots, the normal riots. So that happened like in July, August. And then the mad thing, the craziness in America happened. Okay. Which I don't even believe was Muslims anyway. It was a conspiracy, but mm. then that happened. And that ch kind of changed the racism now mm. from Pakis to Muslims. You understand what I mean? And that was a whole nother set of drama. 2001, did you say? Yeah, 2001. That was 9-11 year, innit? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, so yeah, when that I happened, remember that, I was in jail that time. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so man. when that happened, that kind of couldn't just, believe it. See, see when I'm seeing that on the TV, blood. But uh, that you thought it was like I yeah, swear, it was, I remember it, it, it that. Like, yeah, it real, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it was bro. Bro, I was sleeping. Bro, and you see people jump like jumping bro, out of the building and yeah, all it was that. Sad. It was sad. Mad bro, blood. Listen, you see when that happened? Yeah, I was sleeping. I was in. Where was I? Stoke Heath. Yeah, I was sleeping. Yeah, my brother can woke me up. He goes, bro, I'm sleeping. Probably I stuck with a higher weed mm. the night before. He's waking me. He goes, yo, wake up. I'm like, what? Team. He's like, bro, America's been bombed. I'm like, what? Yeah. So I've got up. I'm looking at his TV, bro. It don't even seem real. Mad like, this God. is like nuts. I couldn't was believe there. it. Bro, I'm not going to lie to you. I was stuck to the TV for like three, four weeks. It was mad. He's like, looking at it like, yo, this is mad. Mad. Like, there. But bro, you know what? Man, I saw the change, you know. Like... That racism just turned, bro. Remember, oh, man's I, name was Muhammad, bro. Mm. And I, it, bro, that I don't believe that was Muslims. And like I said, that's oh, not. That's, I don't believe. I don't believe it was Muslims, Muslims. and that's wrong. It like, Muslims. bro, you know, that's I wrong. I don't you can't believe do that. it was exactly. Muslims. There's kids. I think there was kids in there, like women, children. Like you can't. Do I that. don't believe yeah. it was Muslims. I, I, I think that's a that's a bigger conspiracy. You know, yeah, there, yeah. You know, have you ever heard of false flags? I believe that. You heard of false flags? Mm -mm. So if you look into the history of. America, they do a thing called false flags. So they will make like a ship get attacked in like the, uh, for, I think if you look at the Vietnam War, I, I believe it was the Vietnam War, they said that one of their ships got attacked and that mm. was their reason for actually intervening in Vietnam. Uh. But now they say now it, it never happened. Mm. It, that ship didn't get attacked by the Vietnamese, mm. the North Vietnamese, you understand okay. what I mean? So I feel it was just kind of like, let's do this. So we, so we us, can boom, gives, boom, 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 we boom, do whatever we want after yeah, that. Exactly. Yeah, yeah come on, I mean. man. So no, that's, that that's what I kind of think American it was. American badness, you get me? Yeah, man. But So yeah, I understand where you're coming from, with the, the reason why he came on your show and whatever. And I do rate, I do respect and rate that you try to get the brother respect to try to debate. Yeah, 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 you, tried. you tried your thing. Yeah, tried. You failed miserably. Yeah, yeah, tried. <laughs> it was there, but you tried. It yeah. was there. Alhamdulillah, whatever. So you see when it comes to like the, the Muslim Islam, like I love my deen and even though I'm not like perfect, you know, was there. Mm. Like, there's a saying, I love the righteous, even though I'm not from them. Mm. You know what I mean? So sometimes I love being around brothers that are on their deen. Because mm. every time I'm with them, I'm doing good, good things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Or whatever, whatnot. So like, I, I like being around them. So I'm, I'm like passionate about the religion, even though I'm not like, you know. It, 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 it helps because um, the, first, the first time I've done, I've done, the, full, I've done the full fast, I actually completed the full fast as when I was wrapped around the brothers. Mm. You yeah, get yeah me? trust me. You got um, Musa, um, Smiley, Hamza, free up Hamza. Do you get what I'm saying? But the brothers made sure that I done, I done the full fasting. So it does help, you know, but I'm lucky to have a, some good brothers wrapped around me. You get me? Because I've got like Ibs, um, Osman in um, Gambia. And then I've got um, obviously Yusuf, Dwayne Patterson. That's Kay's bedroom, but okay. yeah, Dwayne Patterson, blood. Um, Musa as well, Smiley. I've got people that I'm lucky enough to be able to phone. You know, and now um, Bashir as well. Mm. You know, Bashir is a good brother. He's, You're a very he, good brother. Yeah. He, he, Did you know him from road? He's yeah, the younger yeah, 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 yeah. He's knowledgeable. Mm. So yeah, I've got good brothers that I could get information from if need be, or they can pull me up, wire for that. But they can, you know, what I mean, pattern me up when I'm getting too mad. You know, you know what I kind of like. I find a bit sad, you know, the rap thing now, mm. a lot of Muslim youths are involved in it, yeah, yeah. you know, and it makes me sad they're saying stuff about Islam mm. in their tracks. Mm. That I, that wasn't from my era. So when I, I, I used to do that though. 
you, I never, I've never, yeah. I've never gone so the devious. music. So the devious. Yeah. But what saying? St- but you're not saying stuff that's like, no, you know, you're not understanding what I'm saying, Spray. I have stuff. But you're saying stuff that's like blasphemy. Uh, yeah, I nah. said I would to be like him. I've, I've, no, I've, no, I've said no, certain. No, no. certain but you, don't understand, you don't understand what I'm saying. Mm. Right, cool. You shouldn't say that anyway. But what? Mm. Do you what, get what I'm trying to say? No, 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 no. Look, people are saying things now that are anti-Islamic in their tracks. Like you know that young ads. Young ads. The Louis, I think some Lewisham. Okay, D B D B. DB. Yeah, yeah, DB, young yeah, ads DB, and there's hard ads. But he said something in a track about you know Prophet Noah. The girl's private part mm. is wetter. Than Prophet Noah's Ark. The man said that in a track, and I'm like, but he didn't say Prophet Noah. He said Noah's Ark. Bro, it doesn't matter. No, but I'm saying, no, no, yeah, okay, exactly. yeah, but no, but now, like, I, I understand. It's not like, come on, Bro, it's but, not that. That's not that but bad. Because, but, but, but it's bad. To, it's bad to you. But I'm saying, I thought you was gonna say he said something mad. Yeah, that's brought to me. That's mad. Yeah, to you it's there, mad, but mad. to him, he's there. doing music. So imagine, and I get it. I get, I get the reference. Imagine, so the big OG. I'm not gonna mm. say his name. Yeah, yeah, come on. Clap him. Clap was him. There. So the other day, mm. he got moved from prison to prison. Yeah. Do you mm. know the reason why he got moved? Go on. Some Muslims were selling spice on the wing. Mm. And he said, nah. Can't run. Can't run. Mm. And it was there. So screws found out they shipped him. And I'm like, if he knew what was going on out here, like we're going way beyond that. Yeah, and yeah. it was there. So that we're talking my error in it. So mm. I remember the first time rap started in Mightens. So Muslim brothers for, who were on the road, mm. they done a trek. And they're certain, saying certain Islamic things, but obviously, mm. man's the man in my ends. Mm. So I've called them. I said, but if they, I don't care, they're on a rap track. And was there, that was that's their business, that's their sin. Mm. But I'm like, bro, what are you talking about the dean for in the track? And it was there because this time I was getting more. If it was five years before, I wasn't that mm. aware of the dean like that. But mm. now I was more like inclining towards the dean. So I said, yo, bro, come on, you got to take this track off. Mm. And it was there, like, you're Muslim, bro. Like, boom, boom, boom. Alhamdulillah, they took the track off. Uh-huh. It was there. Mm. You see when this so-called street muslim thing started yeah 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 20 odd years ago yeah mm. the brer it actually started you know he's not you know he was he's from west right the brer who actually started it yeah i don't know you know him but i don't think you realize it was him yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. this started because outside the masjid yeah people were shot in drugs okay so the a brother was the, the brother was like nah you ain't doing that a you know what i mean what muslims but cause I can man, you know how man are jahil, isn't it? Yeah? So, but yeah. this is what I'm trying to say. Mm. I'm, that's you don't know. Like I could go, I could make the argument. You don't know what was in the heart. But anyway, he yeah. saw them <laughs> selling drugs outside the mosque, yeah. innit? Yeah. 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 So the brother was like, "Nah, you can't do that, bro. You can't sell mosques, uh, drugs outside the mosque." Yeah. Yeah. So it started from there. Obviously, then he's linked the Clapham brother. It yeah. was there, yeah. Yeah. and that's how that thing started. Mm. So what I mean is, is the the original brothers that started it. They had good intentions, bro. Yeah. Like, like um, it went left and it went left badly. <laughs> it was there. <laughs> and people jumped on it. They're licking man down and <laughs> robbing everything. And you just know what I mean? So obviously, Spray, when it came to me, when I was in jail, wasn't it? Mm. So man's come like, wow, we know we could rob the normal stuff. I'm like, bro, what are you on about? Mm. Like, man's a drug dealer. Like, what are you on about? And it was yeah. there. And they're like, I said, bro, this don't make no sense. And it was there. Mm. So like, so I was with a thing. Look, I'm Muslim, innit? Mm. I don't really understand what you lot on though. Yeah. You understand what I mean? That like, this is just a mad. So I just kind of looked at it like a phase it was going through, innit? And it was there. But the man, the brands who started it originally, they were sincere about it because what they were doing was good, innit? You understand mm. what I mean? Mm. So what they were trying to do is f- enjoy the good and forbid the evil, innit? Mm. It was there because that's upon us to do that. Yeah. You understand what I mean? Yeah. Just because you're doing evil, mm. it don't mean you shouldn't warn against evil. I'll mm. give you an example. If you bun weed now, yeah? Mm. You shouldn't. You should so if you see like a cute bun weed, you tell him don't bun weed, bro. Mm. And man might say to you, oh, "You're a hypocrite." No, he's not a hypocrite. He knows he's that's your weakness. Yeah, he was yeah. there. Mm. So what I'm saying is like, I don't know. I come from that era where this Muslim thing was kind of deep, and I just don't understand how we got from there to how we are where we are today. He was there where man could just say anything about Islam and like one thing I say to man is don't play with the Dean. He was mm. there. Bro, play with, like, if you want to go on, do whatever you want to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But just don't play with the religion. I had one of my brethren from, from South come out of jail one time. And I said, what are you going to do now? I was, I was off the road this time, yeah? yeah? He goes to me and start shotting. So I, I, I said, Aki, you know, that's haram. You can't do that. And he said to me, Aki, Allah lets us go get our provision. And I was mm-hmm. there. I, st- I said, Aki, stop. Was yeah. there. I said, bro, you're playing with Allah's religion now. Mm-hmm. And I was there. 
Bro, I'm not righteous, you know. Yeah, man, yeah. I feel, bro, I alhamdulillah, I pray five times a day, man. Bro, I will bust your wig open. And it was yeah, there yeah, yeah. if you get on the wrong side of me. Mm. I'm not righteous. Mm. It was there. But at the same time, my whatever sin we do, uh, that that's we're not gonna That doesn't mean you're not righteous though. No, nah, but I don't I don't feel righteous. No, nah, but I'm saying that like I'm, I can't bust a man's wig righteously still. <laughs> but anyway, I say a good show. Let's see what happens. Man said, like, huh? so let's see what happens. <laughs> let's see what happens, boy. I might strike my channel down. Boy, no, 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 you're done. good. You're good. No, I'm bro. joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. That was it called. But you know what? Like, I wanted to get you on when I've done my um, thing with you after that. What's that? When I've done the podcast with you in it. But obviously, oh, yeah, yeah. it was a. Uh, I wasn't even like on it mm. at all. I was. I was. I was you get you. You do better now. I think I'm. I'm. I've grown in stature now. Like, well, you know what? You see, I've you grown know, in bro. stature. You know, like you like that one, innit? I've yes, grown yeah. in stature. Like they rate my thing a bit more now. Mm -mm -mm. You get what I'm saying? So might yeah. not get as much views as Bashir. Obviously, he's more. So he was his. You see, how he was dealing with his <laughs> interview a bit better. He was. You know, Bashir's thing is talking uh, you know, heavy. You, know you get what, what I'm saying? You know what he's is, you see, you see, saying so much good stuff. You see, you see, <laughs> you see Bashir though, like mm. you know, you, you know the connection between me and him, right? Uh, I can't, he told me, but so I can't So basically, remember. he had a, he, Bashir had a, uh, I call him B-double, Bashir, but Bashir, yeah, he had a mm. cousin from, I think, up by north somewhere, mm. and he went down to Reading, mm. and I think he got into some issue and they had to come down, so he's, he's, he's knows Reading, and obviously he knew, he knew like, everything that goes down there from his yeah, cousin, yeah, and yeah. whatever, whatnot. So we knew of each other, we've got a mutual friend, innit? Mm. And was there, we've got a mutual, he, he's got a brother that, uh, that I know, like we're kind of both friends yeah, with him yeah, and stuff nah, like that. So Alhamdulillah. So it was, it was gonna happen at some point. Yeah, now nah, he told me still he rates you still. Nah bro, you know what is like you but you know what is I, I like his um I like his character. Yeah, he's, he's got good there. energy. He's got good energy and was yeah. there. And it's not even that like you see that is I like And he's he's funny as well. I, but you know what is I like that confidence. I can't take people see if you see if I can't have a joke with you, yeah, like yeah. it's long. You know, like, you know, you know, you know, he, you know he talks with confidence. Mm. I like that. You know, was yeah. there. Mm. You see like in, on road. You gotta have that attitude, innit? Like, I'm the guy. Uh, like, you got, bro. If you don't have that attitude, man's gonna eat you up. And it was there, and like, I could see that in him. Like, you know, everyone, everyone has the attitude who plays a certain role on the road, innit? So he's got good energy, good character, mashallah. And like, okay, the big thing was look how the where he changed, man. Mm. He went from deep in the rap thing, rolled and whatever, and bam, just flipped it. And it was there, and I think mm. when he done it, no one really expected it. Mm. You start what I mean? So he's even like a like a good example for even me, man. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. I, I even look at that sometimes and think to myself, man, I could do better, man. Alhamdulillah, man, praying that. But I find, I, I, got, I think there's that PTSD in it. Mm. I have just my moments, is that like up and down, mm. you know, was there and whatever. And it's just, it's a daily struggle. Or, like, but Alhamdulillah, you know, man's been consistent with the prayers now for like 15 years, you know, start what I mean? Mm. So I was just trying to build on that still, man. But anyway, let's cut it off there, yeah. you know. Nah, Salaam, man. Not road normal. Salaam, bro. Matula. Spray, you know. All right, cool. Peace.